We back, y'all. Let's get straight to it. Yeah, I'm a Raider, Oakland Raider. From the Bay to LA to Las Vegas. I'm a player, a boss player. If you with me, pop your collar, shake them haters. I'm a Raider, Oakland Raider. From the Bay to LA to Las Vegas. I'm a player, a boss player. If you with me, pop your collar, shake them haters. I'm from the city of set, rep the silver and black. Word of hot show, give me the strap. The realest is back. Stupid chat with some silly attached. I for a nah, fuck it, man, give me a patch. I'm a Raider, Oakland, LA, Vegas, Jalen, Kenyon, Jacobs, Vegas. Man, bread, do we lady, lady? The shine with the speed, it was with the 50 50. Yeah, they said I still been Blackfield. Abram in the box, American in the backfield. Yo, yo, shout out to everybody already here in the comment section. We are back with another. Graph and Stu show. You got two in one week. I think Big Bro is trying to tell me something like, you know what? I fucking failed a, a miserably a few of them. So we here to double back. You already know what it is. Shout out to my bro, man. Stuart Swagger. What's good with you, bro? Hey, I uh, want to say what's up to the nation, man. I'm glad to be on. Hey, during that song, who I, I'm being serious. You said Regis. Is that a, am I hearing that wrong or is that a running back? Um, that was undrafted okay last year okay. um raging cajun louisiana boy he's, okay. on, a, he's on a practice squad right i now. just wanted to make sure i heard i'm like man, i don't know who that dude was i'm like okay i just want to make sure yeah it, it, it was another fail i failed miserably with that well, one. no i mean had, <laughs> that's just a filler we call that a filler yo shout out to everybody exactly bro and hey, not a lot of rhymes with vegas vegas definitely does <laughs> shout out to my boy brody mcfarland in the building my boy from Ahern, man. Shout out to my guy. Mm. If you guys are going to be in the Las Vegas area for the draft, make sure you pull up on us and come say what's up. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we will be at the Ahern Hotel potting the entire draft. So shout out to my brother Brody, man. VP over there. You already know what it is. My guy's in the building. Also, got my brother in the building as well. Everybody is here right now, man. Shout out to my Brody, man. Waste is in the building. Raider God, man, everybody's here right now. Creepy man. Kev, creepy Kev. Creepy Kev. <laughs> hey, you know what he's doing right now? He's at Walmart doing some like just like looking through like the like with, like you know like the whole section of Walmart where it's like all dog like dog like bones and dog yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see him like just in that area just staring at the fucking like uh the stuffed animals or some shit. <laughs> hey Kev, fight back, King. Fight back. You know he will. I know, yeah. he's, I know he's got shots. Hey, I miss fucking having Kev pull up on these lives. He never, he never pulls up no more. Bro, he would just sit there and be. Remember, no, remember we thought his, his screen froze for an hour? Yeah. <laughs> and we're yeah. like, no, what? He's like, no, I'm here. We're like, whoa. Motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> well, got the glitching and shit. Shout out to Raiders for Life. Stu was on, uh, you was on with JT the Brick today. Yep. So JT, um, this week he's he's getting guys back on. He had Fred Belitnikoff, uh, I think yesterday. He had me today. Fabian Washington tomorrow, uh, and just talking about you know our draft experience and what he was trying to do is get guys from each kind of like decade. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was. I don't know. I, I know you. I don't know if you're able to share the link or not, but I, I'll, I'll share it and stuff, man. Oh, you guys shit. check it out. It's all right. Oh. Don't worry about it. No, it's it's cool. Um, no, check it not. out, guys. It's a pretty. It's a pretty cool. I mean, he's. I got a lot of respect for JT. He always takes care of me, man. Good dude, dude. Good so, dude. Who, who was all on the call? It was just no. It was it was his. So he does like a weekly show, and it, I, I was just one of his guests during the you know. The three thirty hour or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just me and him. Okay, so this was this isn't the CG ruthless sports one. Oh no, 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 no! Oh, no. that's why I couldn't find it, bro. I'm like, I'm oh like, yeah, no, 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 no. This is dude, no, this is on like the Raiders website. Yeah, yeah, the JT joint. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. Okay, I can find that for sure. Actually, you know what? I, I want to say Thursday he's gonna have on the GM, our GM. Oh shit! For real, so you have Ziegler on there. 
Yes, yes. Oh, yes. that's dope, man. Yeah. Shout out to JT, man. He puts out some great, great stuff. When I told them that possibility of, of uh, I told them, you, you know, people I know are going to be out there. I said, I, I might be able to make it out there. And he's like, yeah, just let me know. Because he's got a whole bunch of like, um, what do you, satellite, or not satellite stations, but like, he's going to be moving around. He said, he's like, yeah, if, if we can get you on, dude. He's like, let me know, man. Love to have you come on. So, yeah, that's what's up, man. Shout out to JT. I actually talked to him at the Chargers game, the last game of the, of the season, and uh, and talked to him about coming on the show. And he was like, I'll definitely jump on anytime. So I need to reach out to JT and get – you know what? That'd be fun to bring him on and us three doing. That, that'd be cool. Dude, he's 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 an OG, dude. He's yeah, – yeah. he's, And he'd be out there with the people too. Like, like yeah. JT, is, he's solid, man. He's I, I, could, solid. I could see him – Hanging with us, I could see him. I could see him, bro. He be drinking and all this shit, bro. Like, hey, I could see JT him in the bath, at bathroom at the fucking spearmint rhino and shit. Like, yo, JT, wait, wait, hey, man, this is, <laughs> this is the bathroom, bro. This isn't the VIP. Hey, dude. Hey. Get the fuck out, JT. We we wasn't here. We weren't here. That, yeah, know. hey, <laughs> we were we were here. <laughs> Get ghost. Get ghost. Shout out to eight hundred five Vincent Cal. Salute Dax and Stu. I send mine, fellas. Appreciate you, King. Shout out to my guy as always, man. Everybody in the comment section, do me a favor, man. Wipe them feet. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. We just broke 15K today. Yeah, dude, I saw fun. that, dude. That's yeah. badass, man. Yeah, man. So, hey, but you know how we do over here. Runs. Well, actually, speaking of, speaking of that, what, what's Wasted up to now? Waste is in the comment section. I, I know, but, but what's his what's his number? Oh, oh, oh. I, I don't know. I, I Did you say, like, he's up there now, isn't he? He is... Wasted is that over four uh, over four uh, thousand? Is he? Oh, that's what I thought. I, yeah. I heard I heard you say that number. I'm like, okay. Yeah, it's like forty one hundred or something like that. No. Say good uh, interview on the JT show. Damn, I got to double back and watch that, man. Oh, gotta, no, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate gotta it. Check that out. Hey, so we did something this morning, right? So <laughs> we talked about this yesterday. Um, you know, our, our our brother Stu had a great had a great conversation. With one of his former teammates, yep, um, former number one pick, uh, former Raider. Uh, we all know how the nation feels about Jamarcus Russell. We 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 get it. You know, number one pick. We we know how it is, but we didn't expect the outpouring today to be what it was. It was kind of a little crazy. So I put up a thumbnail saying, "Would you guys like to see uh, me and Stu, um, you know, do an interview with Jamarcus Russell?" Stu talked to him yesterday. Um, had a really good conversation with him, and we were like, you know what, let's 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 get him on, and we put it on Twitter, put it on Instagram. It was a it was a mixed bag at first, and then out of nowhere, everything just went left. Like, yeah, yeah, it was just like for what, for what, fuck no, fuck no, and now I realize, bro, why you fell off the grid for so long. Oh you, yeah, and yeah. Now I know why Jamarcus. Flew out of the, you know, flew off the grid, off the grid. He's just not on the radar. No, no Instagram, no Facebook, no Twitter. I get it now because it's tough, man. Like the the backlash that you get from the fans and from just I look, yeah, I, I got killed just for saying we're gonna do a show with them. I, I mean, so I can only imagine what Jamarcus has to hear year a year and year. I mean, every day. You know what I mean? So you know, and I know the conversations me and you had behind the scenes. Yeah, um, you know why you felt. Well, I you think I think, that. and here's the thing too is is I came to terms with not having the career I wanted to have, you know, six, seven, like uh, probably four or five years ago. Yeah. And it, it, it does. And obviously Jamarcus is younger than I am. Right. And sometimes it just takes a little time to like, let that shit just kind of settle in and then go, you know what? I don't give a fuck. I, I, I played in a profession that, such a small percentage of people can play in. Just, I mean, if you watch my intro video, right? Yeah. Not only that, you play for the Raiders, and not only that, you're the dude. You're the number one draft pick. So what? Since 19, so 70, 80, 90, 2000, 10. So there, there's only been 72, 62 number one picks. Yeah. In the entire history. Yeah. Of the NFL, and he was one of them, and he's got to feel bad, and he's got to fucking, um, uh, like backpedal his career, like, dude, yeah, like you know what I'm saying, like, and, and you know what's crazy, 
and I was I, I said this, I said this, I said, you know what? I said, I was disappointed in the nation a little bit, man, because I'm thinking if it were me, I'd be like, man, I want to hear what the fuck happened. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, definitely. It, it, but see, I look at it, it's a two-sided thing. You know, say I I understand our frustrations because of the stories Absolutely. that were told, you know what I'm saying? Because of the, the lean stories, the money situate, the money story, the the holding out to get the guaranteed money and then underperforming and coming in out of shape. There's a lot of things that you can look at him and say, bruh, come on. But what did he tell you yesterday? One thing, I don't want to talk too much about it. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't either. But one thing I didn't realize, he said, Stu, he goes, you know what, dude? He goes, the Raiders, he, he, he this is what he said. He goes, the reason, he goes, I held out that long is because they needed to clear some money, the money that the NFL spreads out through the NFL teams and like divvies up. He yeah. goes, they they wouldn't even talk to us until like fucking week one. He's mm -hmm. like, I, I I was ready to come in and play, but they didn't have the money. Like they did, like they were waiting for checks to clear and shit before they could like talk to him and shit, dude. They were Al Davis was balling on a budget, dude. Like, hey man, we gotta sell some shit off here real quick. We gotta wait for that. We gotta wait for the NFL, you know, the NFL yeah. whatever owners money to come in. He's like, too. He goes, I would have been in training camp early, but he goes, they didn't even call me. They didn't even call my agent. He's like, I wanted to come in. So he wasn't, he didn't hold out. Yeah. Like, here's hey, the thing. You, 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 you guys were both handpicked from Al Davis as well. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And I think, I think maybe that's why we, I, we kind of have that connection. Cause um, he, he, like he had, he, he had a pretty good relationship with Al man. And, and here's the thing guys, you know, uh, and I, I just told him, I said, listen, man, I said, what what people want to hear is you as a you're you're a, you're a human being, dude. You know. Yeah. And here's the thing. The other thing, I don't want to steal his thunder, but when he was talking, he, he's like, "Stu, man." He goes, "Shit, after games, like you know, when when fucking uh, Kiffin got fired and Cable came around, Cable was trying to like, you know, be a tough ass Tommy around him and shit." And he's like, yeah. "He's like, listen, man, coach me up. Like, yeah. I I need someone to coach me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like." I'm a young ass motherfucker that's going to lead this organization and like be the savior, but no one's telling me anything. Yeah. It's like, dude, I mean, he was really passionate, right? Stu, I, I know he was, you know, on the oh, phone, like, like you can tell he wants this story to be told. Like you can tell, like he want. it's like, been a wants, long time. And, and when yeah. I was able to come back and tell my story, it was like, and to have people go, Hey man. Okay. I, I understand now. Or just even going, dude, Respect your game, dude. Like, yeah. it, like it goes a long fucking way. And to bring him back and to talk to him like that, I can tell he's he's ready. Like he's yeah. ready to yeah. yeah to move on and move forward. And it was just it, it, it was it was disappointing to, to to see those comments. And I'm thinking because first of all, if you respect me, and I'm I'm saying we're gonna bring somebody on. Yeah, if you. Just even as a friend of mine, I would think, okay, yeah, okay. If Stu's saying this dude's gonna come on, then yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Like, cause when I'm sitting there, I'm thinking, well, shit, man. Like, that's 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 one of my homeboys. Yeah, and you guys are like, fuck, you know, like this. And it's like, when I hear that, it's just like you're telling, basically, you're saying that shit to me. Hey, hey real saying. quick, because I, I like to keep files around here, right? I'm gonna change. I'm gonna flip it up a little bit. Yeah, flip it up. Flip it up. Flip it up. Shout out to M85, man. Uh, appreciate you. He says, "Fuck Twitter." So Ray the Tape had a video a live the other day, right? Shout out to my brother Ray, and he was talking about some stuff being watered down. There's too much Raider content. I guess I don't know. I didn't watch it, but somebody told me about this, right? But hold on. This is a, what is this now? Hold on. Sorry, Ray. Ray you know Ray. Ray. Ray the Tape. He, he had a live the other day, right? And, and, and pretty much they were talking about uh, something about clothing as well. I guess the clothing um, was uh, like people that have clothing. He, he wanted to step oh, in. trying to promote their clothing line and yeah, shit or but, whatever. But, but I guess he says something like, I guess there was a comment flown around that it was like, yeah, you know, I want my shit to be kind of official. Like not like a lot of these other guys. This is what I heard. So I'm not going to say that's what. Exactly clothing what or his channel? Clothing, like the, our, 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 our merchandise. Okay. Right? So M85 put. Oak Las Vegas in there, right? I want to ask you, brother, what was that about? What was that about? Shout out to M8, uh, M85. I just wanted to know what happened because um, 
Yeah, man. You be here all the time rocking with me, man. What, what, what did I do? Did, did you order some Oak Las Vegas? Was it was it bad? Because, I mean, everybody that's bought my uh, merch has, has, has been very, very happy. So I just, I just want to know uh, where, where did that come from, King? Please, please, please enlighten me, brother. You know what I'm saying? You know, we keep files around here, man. We, we definitely keep files. You know what I mean? So, you know, yeah. Um, shout out for young hey, brother. Hey, everybody's got a file, dog. Everyone's hey. got that file, bro. They keep we keep records, bro. Hey, hey, we, 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 we definitely, keep records. We, we definitely do. Shout out to young rep. I'm down for the video. Really want to hear his story. I'm a raider through it. Uh, I'm a raider through and through. It's all love. Shout out to young ruck. I see big records in the building as well. Shout out to my guy, uh, Christmas said, Damn graphic, keep those receipts. Definitely, bro. Boosted with E. You know how we do, King. You know how we I'm, do. I'm gonna say this, dude. I, it was good. It was actually really good this last couple of days to reconnect because I haven't talked to Ruckus in a while, dude. So like, me and him chopped it up for about like five hours. I don't know. I, it was Thursday night or Friday night, and I was like, dude, Ruckus, I got, I gotta go to bed, bro. Like, fuck. I know, like, we're cool and shit, but dude, I gotta hang up on your ass, man. Like, fuck, dude. Hey, hey, hey I'm not. No, I'm, no, no, no we, we, we all fucked up. Left me a voicemail and shit at like three, four in the morning. <laughs> I'm like, y'all crazy. We three way called your ass. <laughs> He said, oh, oh, M85, okay, got you, King, my brother. And, and like I said, I wasn't attacking you. I just saved the file, so when you popped up, I wanted to ask you what that meant, okay? You got because, that little ding, that little just yeah. alert. That little no, alert. because people, people always send me stuff all the time about, hey, man, this person. And I never address nothing, man, because at the end of the day, bro, I'm in my own lane. Like, I don't really care what anybody else is talking about. Oh, they, they'll never say graphic, right? They'll never say my name. They'll never say anything. But people say stuff all the time, but they don't really – you know what I mean? So when people tell me, hey, man, I think someone's, so, I'm like, bro, I don't really care. Like, I'm doing my own thing. I, See, I'm and, out of the way. And, and, and that's the thing with me is like, if, 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 if it's not something that brings my attention to it, then he's not doing anything that's bothering me. Like, if it bothers you, then you handle that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if that bothers you, then you, that's something to do with you. But to me, like, I, I'm cool with everything. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't, and I get it. I mean, people want to help out sometimes, but also guys, I want you guys to know that we always know what's going on. Always, always at all times. We're, we're not going to sit here and address every, you know, yeah. every little, because otherwise that's all we'd be doing the entire fucking conversation. So you got to let some shit just go. M85. I'm definitely going to make some patches, brother. And, and like I said, I wanted to know where that came from because Oh, M80, the Jason head. Okay, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. No, M85 always supports the channel. He always supports everybody's oh, channel. No, no, absolutely, absolutely. But I just wanted to know why my shit came up in that North conversation. Jesse, yeah. When yeah. was, okay, all right, cool, all right. But um, shout out to Big Mike, as always. I think it would have been cool to hear Jamarcus Russell's story. I think the nation needs to let's, see the let's, way Hold on, let's pump our brakes, so let's, like, it's, yeah. like, dude, I just, like. Wait, even look, look. The, it's just the, it all we're saying this. All I said was, do you guys want to see it, right? Yeah, you like to see it. So you know, look, bro. Like he he was like Lazarus, bro. Like from like I got him out of the the grave, or like do that. So I'm like, he's just getting used to like just kind of yeah, yeah yeah talking and just be like. So it, it might be a little bit, and um yeah, so I don't want everyone to fucking, you know, think that, you know, and also they're like, what the fuck? But yeah, yeah, yeah. Like tomorrow, we're going to do a Jamarcus Russell interview or something like that. And if this does happen, we would make sure it's not live, you guys. We'll do a pre recorded. Yeah, I, don't, I don't trust you, motherfuckers, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out the first catch, man. Because I, to be honest with you, dude, because I, I was, I'm scared that Jamarcus would try to fuck, you know, he would, he would be that dude fucking, you know, Hey, Stu, where you at, motherfucker? Hey, hey, bro. Hey, where's that dude at? Hey, Stu, man. Hey, come on. You brought me on this fuck-ass shit. Where's my, I'm, I'm going to kill this. Like, like, I was a couple times during the conversation. He started getting fired up about, you know, because I get it. He was passionate. And he, you know, there yeah. was some shit that I didn't know about. And I, I was like, is he going to fucking cuss me out? Like, I'm like, oh, yeah. shit. Hey, you know why? Because he had somebody that, that, that was listening to him. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And who's been through the fire just like him. You know what I'm saying? So... So it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Van City. Yes, my brother, the fitted hats are coming so uh, very, very soon. So I'm getting my uh, logo uh, uh, redesigned, the same Oak Las Vegas. My brother, shout out to my brother Chuck, uh, Chuck. He's redoing a little thing so I can put it on the hat. Fitted hats, snapbacks, coming soon. Promise. Hey, uh, Ruckus, will um, Cali, will Ka is it? It's Cali. Will Cali be out there in Vegas? Cali, right? What you mean? 
the rapper. The rapper. Yeah, my boy. Oh, oh, oh to my Cali, Cali Capone. Well, he, yeah, he'll be out there. He's out there right now. I want, dude. I wanna, I wanna, I want him to cut me an intro music, dude. He'll do it. Yeah, and I, not. I just felt bad. Now I asked him to do it, not you. But you got. That's like I don't. You got your oh, own shit, man. Fuck you, dude. I don't want. I don't, I don't really fuck with you like that. To be I real, know, okay, cool. I'm just saying. Okay, no disrespect, yeah. but you got. You already have yours for yours, so yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta make my shit a little bit different. I don't, I don't, I don't know though, Cali. He, he he a cowboy fan, man. So yeah, I, I don't mean. Know. Yeah, he's a stew fan, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, shout. Yeah, I got beanies too. They're on oaklawsvegas.com. I got a few of them right now. I got some more on the way. Um, shout out to Vro. Shout out to everybody in the comments. Wait, hold on. Someone just said, Sean, no, something about patches. You, get, you got patches? No, I got, those are on the way as well. I got somebody actually putting some patches together. I need to, I need to, yeah, I, that's what I need to do. I need to start, I need to lock down a logo. Yeah, but get, get one, motherfucker. I, I can get you one done ASAP. Rocky? You, ASAP huh? Rocky or ASAP Ferg? Rocky. Because okay. he he's nailing Rihanna, and that's that's a different type. Well, no, of I heard I heard he got busted cheating on her. No, no. that was nah. Rumors, man. Rumors be flying. Oh, hey, real quick, rest in peace, man, to DJ K Slay as well, man. That sucks, man. I didn't hear yeah. that one. When was this? Passed away this morning. What sucks. happened? What happened? I know he was really sick from COVID, and I don't think he just really ever bounced all the way back. DJ K Slay, right? Yeah, DJ K Slay, yeah. one of the best. He and had the mixtapes, bro. He had mixtapes mix was crazy. Yeah, man. Papoose. He had Papoose and a Ooh, bunch of people. Pop, dude, Papoose was my shit, dog. Hey, man, facts, bro. Uh, uh, new Era. He had that New Era song, right? He, and he had that He had that Alphabet Murder. Remember that song where he, where he went through every uh, Alphabet? Well, whole, yeah. That shit was crazy. Yeah, I do want to say this. Um, Haskins, R.I.P. Yes, yes. Uh, Big Ten guy, Ohio State. Um, what a, I mean, just... I. I what a tragedy! Just it's just it. I do you do you know any more information? On, I mean, I it just from, from what I heard was he was leaving a practice, I believe, or something like that, early in the morning. Got on the highway, his his car ran out of gas. I guess he got out, and then a dump truck clipped him or something. See, here's the thing: like, so I was when you first told me, or when I first was talking to you about it, I went on and like typed it in just to kind of see the highway and stuff. Yeah, and there was a YouTuber on there, and they said. Like him coming from practice and him having a running out of gas was all fake news. He said that the official police report said that there was no car connected to him at the scene. Like he was just out there. See, I don't, bro. I don't know. I mean, that. I see the picture. They, they said he, he has a rental car. There was a rental car or something. And he said there was no car affiliated with him. He was just out there. Dude, it, was, it was a six lane fucking highway. Like what? I, like it wasn't even the area where, like he was trying to get to somewhere. There, there was nothing out there. Dude, I think you're the only motherfucker in the world that'll play on a highway, bro. Oh, I would, dude. If that truck would have hit me, that fucking truck would be dead. Yeah, it definitely would. Yeah, like, facts. Yeah, I would have ate that bitch. <laughs> Fuck. No, but I no, but honestly, no, man. Uh, terror. I mean, just, that's yeah. No, yeah. I, know, I know. We're trying to make some light out of it, man, because it sucks to hear that. That that day happened. I, I, I did it. I did a live and I did a moment of silence for him and stuff because it just I, I can't even. That kid was so young, man. He was young as shit. Dude, he, he was born in 97. Yeah, like super young. And <laughs> and my, it was what's crazy was Mike Tomlin. They were just saying that he was really liking this kid like at quarterback. Yeah. Like he, he was actually going to fight for that starting position over Mitchell Trubisky. So think about this. Going to a shitty ass fucking uh, commanders team, you know, not not the Redskins. Mm -hmm. Quarterback to come out, big name, making a bunch of money, but really has never been taught the quarterback position. Goes out there to a team that he's supposed to save, which the team sucks. The organization fucking is shit, right? Yeah, and then also now you put him in a situation like you just said with Tomlin, again, parallel to fucking Jamarcus Russell. You get him around people that fucking actually coach him up and can get him focused, and it's a whole different story. And that that sucks that he was in a position where 
Tomlin was gonna that that's ugh, dude, that makes it even worse, man. Fuck. Yeah, man, it's sad because I, I you know Mike Tomlin could he, he could have worked some magic with that kid, man. He had all the talent in the world. What, what he did at Ohio State was amazing. Like, oh, dude, yeah, broke like damn near every record, I believe. See, here's the thing. I, I love every Big Ten team just when I'm like my team's not playing them. After that, I want the motherfuckers to ball the fuck out, dude. Yeah. Ball the fuck out. Look at this guy. What's Shout out to my brother on, Wasted, man. What's good, King? What's, what's going on, man? What's up, man? What's popping? I'm, I'm, I'm all good, man. I just, you know, I was just thinking about the whole Dwayne Haskins thing, man. It made me pop in. It's just so sad what happened to that young brother, man. Jersey boy. You yep. know, he's from Highland Park. Oh, he, he, he's, he's Jersey? Yeah, he's from Jersey. Um, His father used to do business with my father-in-law, you know, um, Dwayne right, Haskins Sr. Me, for, forgive me. You're New Jersey? Yes, New Jersey. Dude, he needs to meet fucking Ray Williams, my boy who I had on. He's from New Jersey. So a couple a couple days ago, I had a receiver from Purdue on that played. He's out nah, LA. Yeah, Ray Williams from Scotch Plains. I, I, yeah. I know Ray. Yep, yep. I know, sorry, sorry, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go no, ahead. I actually know him. I know a lot of same people. We know a lot. We got a lot of same friends and stuff. I know Ray Williams. But uh, yeah, I man. Think we um, talked about him before. Waste. I swear we had a conversation. Nah, about... nah, not Ray Williams. It, um, what actually, about Sean, what about Sean Phillips? He he's from out there. Sean, I don't know him. No, okay. I don't know him, but uh, yeah, but yeah, Ray Williams, Jamaican cat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. yeah, nah, his, his, you know, but uh. Needless to say, man, you know, Dwayne Haskins was a good kid, man. And I hate the fact that, you know, nobody, you know, people were trying to say that he was on drugs and say all this bullshit. And nobody thought the people that saw him on a highway, nobody thought to help him. Like the the, the first thing people want to do is they want to gossip and they want to say things and they want to do, you know, and, 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 and sell throw, the kid's throw name. Throw shade on him. Throw shade on the motherfucker. Yeah. Like why? So if you saw him wandering down the highway, why don't you pull over to help this brother? It's just sad, man. It so is. sad. So well, it's, young. It's family and everything, man. It's just. Kid, well, he was a kid, man. He was, he was a kid. What, though, speaking of that, you know that we lost a Raider, too. Yeah. I've seen that today. Yeah. Um, let, me, let me go back over here. I'm a little uh, bit. His, nick, his nickname was Catfish. Well, um, hold on. He, he played he for the a, Raiders his last year of his career. He was a D tackle. Um, played for the Atlanta Falcons. Um, how, how what era are we talking about? My so 90s, 90 2007 was his, his last year, so uh, he played. I want to say his last two seasons were with the Raiders. He was a D lineman, played at Atlanta. Ed Jasper, Jasper, Ed yep. Jasper. Wow, he died. Yeah, I just, yeah, he played the final season of his nine year NFL career with the Raiders in 2005. Yep, yep, yep. That's terrible, man. I don't know how. I mean, it, it didn't say anything yet, but uh, I'm, I'm, let me let me see if I can look it up. I'm gonna say probably heart disease. I mean, you know, um, it's, it's really sad, man. Like the way the NFL is set up, right? He passed away. Okay, hold on. He's 49 years old. He's young is young. Fuck, man. That's young. That's young. Call him catfish. Catfish. That was his name. Catfish. Yeah, not, there's nothing out on why what, what happened yet. I but, will say this: he was he was very he was pretty racist, but whatever. I mean, I you know he was I, I he was cool with me, but he he there were a couple of times when I'm like, I don't know if I really like is he being really racist or is he like just like being cool or whatever. So it was Jasper running around the locker room, crack ass cracking. He yeah, he didn't he didn't he I mean he 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 had his he had his beliefs, man. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Ed Jasper, man. <laughs> Yeah, he probably from deep, from probably from the deep south. You know what I'm no, saying? No, no, he. I, I want to. Yeah, like 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 Mississippi or yeah. It's it's a little there, different yeah. down there, bro. It's not like when you're from the north where everybody kind of fucks with each other like that. Like it's a line of demarcation between. It's very se- and very south. segregated. I mean, yeah, man. right? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Definitely, man. But again, I mean, dude. Yeah, R.I.P. Like, fuck, man. It's- yeah. Oh, another name? thing, shout out to DJ K Slay, man. Yeah, a legend. Yeah, said that too. Yeah, a man. legend, man. DJ, the drama king, alphabetical slaughter with Papoose. Just, just said that. Just said, bro. <laughs> that's that's a classic record, bro. Classic, like, like all the G Unit disc records, all the D Block disc records. You know how many alphabetical slaughter songs I did? I wrote after that. Like I tried to do. I was like, I'm writing the same record but different words. 
Like, you know, as artists, as, as MCs, we're like, that was so creative. I'm going to do it myself, but in a different way. Like, Pat was just different. And K Slay was the guy that, that got him that bag. I remember he signed that million dollar deal with Buster. Yeah, he was calling himself the million dollar man. It was a, yeah. it was a bad deal, though, for him, man. I yeah. felt bad for you, Pat. Do you know what happened? You don't happen to him at all by chance at all, or he had COVID. I know that he was. He had down. COVID. He had heart issues and stuff like how that. You know how it is. He wasn't old. He's in his fifties, bro. Yeah. You know he he wasn't that old, man. It's just you know how it is when you overweight and you you, you get down bad with that COVID, bro. It, it you know if you have any underlying issues, it can fuck with you. Like you know, like with me, I had some issues with it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. well, and then. You know, in your culture, diabetes and that shit too run. I mean, it's like that stuff yeah. is like it's just yeah, it just, runs it, rampant, it, bro. My yeah. my my father, my father had eleven brothers and sisters, and they all died of diabetes. Did, did they lose their limbs at all? Did they? Some, some of my aunts did. Uh, my uncle lost his feet, fingers, hands, all that. Jack, shit. Jack Tatum lost his leg towards the end. Yeah, he, I know. It's another Jersey guy to say it. Yep. That's yep. yeah, man. Crazy, man. It's un- unbelievable, man. It, it, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's a beast. Giant Morant. He's a New Jersey dude. You remember Giant Morant, the receiver? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, he's not Hoboken. I forgot. He, he was just telling me he lives in Cincinnati now. I was just talking to him last week. But he's a New Jersey guy. For a little yeah. state, for a little small state, man, motherfuckers be coming out there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they could play some. We could play some here. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's a pretty good track runners that come out of there, too. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The running, track. Back, running back for the Colts. Oh yeah, Davis. Yep. Anthony Davis. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah I, I definitely know Anthony. No, 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 no. Not, not the. Uh, is it Anthony? The guy that's here now. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, you talking about the kid? I'm talking about Anthony Davis. Back in the day, went to Anthony Wisconsin. Davis is a beast. No, I know Anthony Davis. He's he's an athletic director at a college out there. I want to say now. But... Yeah, he's from Plainfield. Yep. Good dude, man. Fucking awesome cat. He was my era, but the, the running back now for the Colts. Oh, the kid, the kid that oh. Jonathan Taylor? Jonathan yeah. Taylor's from I wanna say he's from New Jersey. I thought he was from like the DC area. Yeah, I, I wanna I say he's so. New Jersey. I wanna say New Jersey. I because you know wrong. what happens, Docs. A lot of these guys, like they were trying to say that Dwayne Haskins was from the DC area because he went to a prep school down there, yeah. but he's from Highland Park. Oh, he's you're right. Yeah. He was right. So wasted. He's from Salem. How far are you yeah. from Salem? Salem is way the fuck down. That's almost like that's beat past Philly. That shit is like not even New Jersey. Jersey? Yeah. That's way South Jersey. Yeah. Okay. So so he damn near what like Delaware type shit. Yeah yeah like that like no, he's, he's actually north. below Delaware. Delaware's north. No 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 oh, Delaware's south, bro. South. Of of New Jersey. Yeah yeah. No. Delaware's south of us. Yeah, I live here, bro. I'm telling hey, you. Hey, this motherfucking your geographical. Hey, look. The graphic is in the word. Spell, spell geographical. Hey, oh, geo, geographic. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. Shout out to Mario, man. What up, fellas? My boy Doc's getting A grades from Mitch. Shout out to my boy Mitch, man. He did a uh, he dropped a new uh, mock draft today. He had a bunch of us on there. I was the only one that left. Oh, yeah. Eight. No, I, yeah. I, yeah. I was yeah. keeping that. Yeah. yeah. I think he felt bad because I had the seventh of uh, the seventh yeah, that, round. That was weak. That was a little weak, bro. Why you get to the seventh round? Hey, so so he, he, he drew him out of a hat. Okay. Hey, hey, uh-huh. don't hey, I'm, I'm gonna say this, dude. Don't let wasted do a mock draft. Last mock draft he did, motherfucker, he got a two a rate a two rating on one of his fucking picks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, Stu. You remember? <laughs> Doc, you know that. Remember, motherfucking um, what's it? What's which what? one? Your NBA, your NBA mock draft. Oh, bro. oh shit. Okay, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Bro, that come on, man. That was straight hate. Yo, Doc, listen to the team, right? You finished last, dog. You Yeah, but yo, that, that's because, yo, listen, Stu, you know why I finished last. That's because your man Dark Side was hurt because I was getting on him by being on the Suns. <laughs> yo, listen, Doc, check out my team, right? My team was LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, um, Wilt Chamberlain, and Tim Duncan. Oh, that's and they gave me a fucking two. No, I'm like, no, bro, no. you t- don't say they. Do not fucking say they. That was dark side. Yo, that was like dark side. Get the fuck no, out of hey, here, God. yo. No, so get this right. So, you know, I'm like, hell yeah, that's, that's like a nine, bro, right? And, you know, Michael's like, yeah, dude, I'll give you, I'll give you eight and a half. Uh, was there, <coughs> there was five of us. There was, was there someone or was it, there was one Nobody other person. Somebody else had a weird ass team, though. I forgot what. No, so right. So dark side goes two. 
man he goes man you're just saying that shit because you're mad because i i was talking shit he goes yeah i give you two i'm keeping that shit too like, oh. <laughs> oh shit bro i remember i came on and and, and named my team too i forgot what the hell it was but your somebody, team sucked your team this, sucked nah, fuck out of here bro my shit was vicious bro i, I, I put magic in there though because magic no, the you had you had you had mike baby and then you had fuck, no, I didn't. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, Bobby Jackson, yeah, yeah. And Mitch Bobby Richmond, and, and Brad Miller, and then fucking uh, Stoyakovich. And These motherfuckers, man. Reggie Theus. I had Magic. I had I had AI though. I had AI in there. You gotta have AI. Yeah. I got Was that it. it? I keep everything. You know that. I know, bro. You take fucking notes for everything. That's crazy, bro. Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Tim Duncan, and Wilt Chamberlain. That's a pretty fucking good team. That's, a, fucking two. That's a vicious ass team. No, he goes two. <laughs> We're like, ha ha ha. Like, he's like, hold on, hold on. This was Mike. Two. Uh, well, it was Dark Side. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, Mike, no. Mike. Mike. So Mike. It was okay. So it was. Oh, Dirty was in there. Dirty okay. was also in there. Yep. Dirty was in there. He was the one that had the outlandish ass team, bro. Dirty had Jordan, Magic Johnson, Dr. J, Bill Russell, and Alonzo Mourning. Alonzo, that was the play. I was like, what that was the problem, that child? Play? That was the problem, child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, bro, you put Zoe at fucking power. And, and don't get me wrong, I grew up loving the Charlotte Hornets. Like that was Zoe, LJ, Muggsy, uh, 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 Kendall, Kendall Gill, Gill, Hershey Hawkins. That was my team. I loved it. So. I had, I, had, I had the scoring page, right? So this is wasted score. So I gave I gave them a 9-5. Dirty gave him an 8-5. Michael gave him uh, an 8-3. And Dark Side gave him a 2. <laughs> bro, come on, bro. Hey, that shit is fucking hilarious. Bro, that shit should have been nines all across the board, bro. Like, come on, man. That Got Will, Will in the post. Tim Duncan. Fucking LeBron hey. on the wing, Dude. And, 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 and KD. Yeah. Dark, on, dark, dark side was over there steaming, bro. Because he picked all of these Phoenix Suns, bro. He picked Devin Booker he, and shit. He couldn't wait till I. He he, he sat there like this. <laughs> I said, hey, I said, Dark side, what you got? Two. <laughs> bro, hold on, bro. Where the fuck was I at? Oh, uh, let's um. Bro, it was like two o'clock in the morning. We oh, were okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, feel, you know, I feel like I feel like you were. I was asleep like a normal. You, no, you might have been. I think you might have been traveling. Oh, okay. I think okay. you might have been on Sacramento. Maybe. Got you. Got yeah. you. But it was insane. Football. It was insanely late though, Stu. We was doing that shit like I, I, I think I broke day four, with y'all that night. Four and a half. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, cause yeah. I, that was the night. I think you made your like you made your comeback. I think. Remember when you drank early and then you. But you threw up and then came woke back up and came back out. Wait, was that Docs? I don't know. Why the fuck? We're dude, we're talking in circles. I don't know what the fuck. I don't, I don't know, know, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I don't throw up off alcohol, man. What the fuck you talking nah, about? No, 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 no. Um <laughs> I gotta go back and look at the files, man. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, hey, they yeah. I Doc. hope it ain't a fucking eleven hour uh, uh live where I, I gotta go through. A million things to find. Yeah, it, it might. Been. It might have been like eleven hours. It might have been because hey, I came in at the end. Not wasted. What's that shirt? That, that hoodie. Oh, not nah, super dry. What's that? It's um a clothing line that I support. You know I like what I mean? that. It's just dope. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, yeah man. Not super. You know, I, I fucks with them like that. But but yeah, yeah, man. Yo, I, just 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 the paradigm shift a little bit, man. I I um, I'm just a little. I'm a little concerned about. The whole draft situation that we got, man, going on, man. You know, I'm just a little, I'm a little what concerned, you? man. What makes you nervous? I mean, what makes me nervous is is the way that the the players are gonna follow us. Like these these teams now, man. Everybody is 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 doing well with with their player and their personnel development, and people aren't reaching as much anymore. And there are a lot of players that we're looking at in the draft, and we have them saying, we're like, oh, this guy's rated as a third-round pick. And some of these guys aren't going to be there. And I think that some of the, the the holes that the Raiders need to fill are not going to be available to be filled because they need to come out of this draft. What's the biggest hole right now? Right tackle. Okay. 
right tackle a thousand percent, man. Like, like to the point where I really wanted them to sign a veteran. But if they're not going to, I don't think they're going. I mean, who is there anybody? I mean, there isn't anybody, is there? Or... Darren Williams, that's my guy, man. Yeah, when Eric Fisher, okay. The, um, okay, okay. I mean, Eric Fisher, Williams. I mean, that's that's pretty much it, you know. But yeah, and I don't really know how much money the Raiders are gonna have because they got to sign their draft picks, right? Mm-hmm. And then if they make another move, what does that look like? We got five points right now. But, their highest draft pick is only going to be a third rounder, so it's not like there's going to be any like big contract issues. It's going to be pretty boilerplate. So that's one thing we have going for us. Like there's yeah, not going to be, you know. Yeah, definitely. That's I, what I was thinking, though. I'm thinking like, you know, do, if they're gonna if they're gonna go and they're gonna hang their hat on this draft, they have to get one starter out of these guys. I think personally, for to have a successful draft, I, I would say I would say to be honest with you, I'd say three by the end of the year. Out of the draft, I think I okay, two. I'd say two. Three's a stretch, but I'd say two. I'd say yeah. two. If you can get Max Mitchell and hopefully or, or, or one of these guys that we like, you know, the Canard. I'm not the saying a day one starter though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay. I, I get it. I get it. But I mean, well, look, if there's a linebacker there in the third round that falls, <laughs> shit. I, look, I, I want to start in linebacker. Like, like I know that everybody's concerned about the right tackle position. I trust our offensive line coach. I like Carmen Brasillo. I want another linebacker. That's why, I, like, I'm worried about that. Like, I think we're good everywhere else. Like, don't get me wrong. We're, we're gonna we're gonna get a lot of undrafted guys too. I'm telling y'all right now. That's where Ziegler's gonna. That that's that's where he's gonna cook. Is that undrafted? Right right when the, right when the draft's over, and them phones get to moving. That's where he's gonna get his bread and butter, man. I'm telling. We talked about that earlier with you know J.C. Jackson and uh, uh, Kenny Moore from the Colts. Like he drafted these guys. Un- he went and got these guys undrafted. You know what I'm saying? Two top five guys at, at, yep. at their spots. That's what I like. That's, that gives me a lot of hope. Yeah. So I'm not really too worried, man. I, I look right tackle. Yes. I, I, I am worried about it a little bit because we're going into, we're going into the season with the same guys that we had last year. But I think this time around, I don't think that uh, we're going to be dumb and uh, foolish enough to have Brandon Parker start over uh, uh, Luminor, man. I, I mean, the way they're talking about him, though. Have you heard some of the comments from Dave Ziegler talking about Brandon Parker? They, they're they very high on him, man. Well, I mean, th- look, hopefully he can get coached up. Uh, like, I, I just – I don't I, – you know, Brandon Parker we, – we told who did I talk – I think I was talking about with Scout earlier. Like, when he makes – he was funny is he does a lot of good things, but we just don't point it out because he does a lot of bad things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we, we kind of just – pinpoint all the yeah. negativity but we don't say hey you know what he did good right here though he did give you know what I'm saying so i mean look maybe his development look he was a third a former third round pick i mean you know the, the guy the guys look I, me personally i want him as a swing tackle i don't yeah. want him starting that right you bring up a good point though it's just weird how some players for whatever reason you just see their good plays and for whatever reason you, you just t- seem to ignore the bad ones and other guys you you just always see their bad shit and you don't really see any of their good shit. I don't know. I don't know what brings that about. If it's the media, if it's fucking that, the counters, if it's fucking I don't know. But that's the world we live in, bro. Yeah, like, that, that's just it is what it is, bro. Like, and, and you know what sucks about Brandon Parker? A lot of the bad plays that he have just they they just happen at the wrong time. That like that's like true. he'll play like an eighty eight percent clean yeah. game. Yeah, and then yeah. in the fourth quarter, when yeah. you gotta have it, yeah. he gives a sack up or he, he false starts, or it's just it's 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 very untimely mistakes. But yeah. but a, a, what a lot of people don't realize is is that Brandon Parker has pretty decent numbers, man. If you're gonna go by that pro football focus metric, yeah. and and he actually is a better left tackle Dude, than that, his right tackle. Hey, when did yeah. that stuff, when did that stuff come out? PFF. Yeah. Uh, it's, what's it about ten years old now, something like that. Little, yeah, it's about ten years old. That shit is fucking legit, man. See, I, I hate PFF, man. I I know what you mean because it's so cool to see these numbers. Like, yeah, I let them put them together. But I just, Chris, Collins, I, guess, I guess for me, I never knew how to really compare, like offensive linemen. How do you fucking like? Yeah, you know, I mean, really, the only stat was I think it was pancakes and like sacks. Other than that, like. How do I know if this guy's even fucking any good? You know what I mean? How do I compare him to other people? Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Shout out to well, Hayward. I like, I like the cornerback shit too, though. Yeah, that's that's some of the most legit how many info times, that you yeah, can get, man. Times, the corners, the corners. Yes. Yes. That's that's some of the most legit. That That's almost like a roadmap for you can see, okay, 
Yeah. J- just just like the point that you guys brought up earlier, right? right about right, dude. Just fuck yeah. About Nate Hobbs. Yeah. When 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 you bring up Nate Hobbs numbers from from Illinois and you you transpose that to the National Football League, it's right on the money, man. Yeah. It's right on the money. So it's yeah. like when you see that, you're like, listen, I don't even want to gamble putting this guy outside. Yeah. He was so bad outside in college. It's not going to get any better in the National Football League. No, not and at he all. can have all the measurables in the world, but that's just not his skill set. Yeah. Halo, see you soon, my brother. Can't wait. Ten more days. We will be in Las Vegas, man. I can't. Wait, bro. I can. Well, actually, I'll be wasted. out there. Are you going wasted? Oh, of course. When, when are you? When are you? When are you get out there? I'll be out there Wednesday. Wednesday. Mm-hmm. How yes, long sir. are you staying? I'm staying the whole time. You know, the whole so the, Sunday or Monday or yes, Sunday, and then I'll be back when I'm when I'm flying over tonight. That you know, time zone to get back here to be Monday yeah. morning when I get here. But gotcha. yeah, yeah. But you come on, man. You you already know, man. Listen. I am I am deep into this whole situation with with the with the hotel and everything, so I have to be there. Well, I would I would I mean I, I mean if you think about it, with with us being I mean we're content creators, and we're fucking content creators for the fucking Raiders, and the fucking draft is in <laughs> Vegas. It's like Gotta when's that going to happen again? Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. It's it's like lightning striking. You yeah. have to be there, man. You got to be there. Yeah. You got to be there. If you're not just, there, just like you just said, though, timing, right? Like this would be like a fucking Monday night football game, and that's where you meet motherfuckers. Like this is the time to go out there, and it's just, it's not that we were the best content creators, but we were able to go out there and meet the people when the shit was going live. You know what I'm saying? Like when the shit was hot. It's just kind of timing, and you got to fucking strike. So. I'm definitely not coming out there because I don't need that shit. I don't need timing. <laughs> <laughs> you stew. You stew. Listen, bro. You stew, man. Yeah, Listen, yeah, I, yeah. I, look, I am just a lowly man on this totem pole. I gotta be out there where the people are. You know what I mean? I gotta I gotta tap in with the nation, bro. Yeah, man, it's a big, this a this a big weekend. And, and we also got, you know, this this year we got the draft. Next year we got the Super Bowl. That's so huge, like, dog. And we could be in that bitch. Yeah. Seriously. Real real shit. So and this year. It's in Arizona, so it's right up the street. True. I told my daughter already. I, I said, listen, I might have to, you know, if we make the Super Bowl this year and next year, I said, I'm going to have to spend your second year of college <laughs> to make sure that I get the tickets. I'm just letting you know. I said, you got to get a student loan, baby. <laughs> if we go to the Super Bowl, bro, it's it's a wrap. I'm, I'm definitely spending. Uh, well, no, I mean, are you, how many tickets are you thinking about? Oh no, my sons and wife gotta go. So okay. okay. I, I, what like, about you? What about yeah? What about you? Uh, wasted. He's going just dolo. one. Just one. I'm gonna go dolo because my daughters don't really like football. My wife is more into basketball. If, if that football. does happen, which I hope it does, and I know we're fucking getting way ahead of ourselves here, but I'm pretty sure as a former player, I can get like at, 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 like t- at face value. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. well, what we'll, 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 man? Look, like come you said, on, bro. You kind of jumping the gun right actually, now. Actually, actually, I'll we'll, hey, we'll just sneak in that bitch. Fuck it. We don't need tickets. There you go. Yeah. Still so gonna get our asses whooped. Hey, we can, <laughs> we'll, ride, we'll ride on the team bus into that motherfucker, dude. Try I've been in the Legion enough already to know the, the ins and outs of that motherfucker. Yeah, so. I know I dude. I, I know where the weak points are at. I know where the fucking blind spots are at, dude. I know all that. Shit, shit. I'm with it. I'm with it. What's hey, up with it? Let's shout, get in there. Shout to Hawk, Stuart Swagger, my man, Vanilla Jack Tatum, the legend, aka the booty hole bandit. And what and what up, Docs? And hey, wasted. <laughs> shout to Hawk. Not bro. the booty hole bandit. The booty yes. hole bandit. Yes. <laughs> that shit is hilarious, my bro. Shout out to Raider John, too. I see you, King. What's up, my, my brother? Hawk. That's the funniest shit ever, bro. If my I go, I'm trying to think, like, I need to. I wanna, I wanna, I'm trying to think like, do I get a, a different jersey or do I get, I need to figure out something that's gonna like outball out you motherfuckers. I need to, I need to trump you motherfuckers somehow. I'm trying to think of what it would be like. Uh, you, you could just wear a shirt that says I'm a former player, motherfucking. Yeah, yeah, like wear your jersey that Actually, you, you know what? I might, I might rent, <laughs> I, you know what? I might rent a white Chevy uh, Malibu and just. Fucking spray paint thirty on it and then crash it into um into uh uh, uh no 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 uh, fucking he's, he's gonna be pissed I don't remember fucking the pool party wait where Who, Thor? Thor? Thor yeah I'm a, I'm a, Thor. I'm gonna I'm drive the car into Thor's pool and just leave it and just walk away that's it hey, 
Or I wouldn't give a fuck. Yeah, like this. Me. Click, click. I'm going to fucking lock the door. Fucking <laughs> 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 throw it. Throw it. Be like, hey, baby. Throw it. Be like, hey, hey, Stu, man. Hey, you want, oh, you, oh, you, want <laughs> you want me to park that bitch for you? I'll park that bitch. Hey, I swear, bro. When Thor is drunk, he steals Arnold Schwarzenegger's vocals. I do that dude that I just I mean we're all cool like you that's know that's my mean? buddy man. I yeah. love yeah. Yeah. I love Arnold Swords yeah. yeah, you imagine if Arnold Schwarzenegger was a porn star <laughs> it'd be I'm hilarious coming. I'm coming I'm like, coming hold on I'm about to come <laughs> <laughs> everybody I'm get coming. on there's that enough to go around fucking, um, uh, the pump. I'm coming <laughs> The fuck's his name? Goddamn! Uh, who's the comedian? <laughs> who's the comedian? Um, I'm about to come. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Let me see. Shout out to Jack Kidder, man. Graphic wasted the stool. My wife booked the trip to Hawaii. I looked in the LV, but happy wife, happy life. This is fact. what is it? What, what happened? What is he saying? He said that he was gonna go to Vegas, but his wife booked the trip to Hawaii. Hey man, you better go. Wife, you better go life. on the beach, brother. Better go. I gotta listen because I'm going to Vegas. I gotta well, take my wife somewhere. I haven't even told Chrissy about Thursday yet, so uh, we'll be all right. No, you know what's crazy? But if you show her that itinerary, man, I, come on, dude. I know you made that shit, man. But I don't. I don't want you. I'm like, dude. I, don't I made you. that shit. What the fuck are you talking about? You. I'm saying you, man. Like. <laughs> Dude, I the itinerary is co- bro. We have no, 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 no. I no, I will, I will, I will. I, but I, we're sitting I, down with the mayor of, of that town on trust Thursday me, night. Like, the last crazy. five days, I've been mom and dad because my my wife had an operation yeah. done, and so yeah. that shit rough, right? I'm I'm dude. I have chips. You know, like when you're like, yep, you are cashing them in. Hey, can, I, I'm a cash <laughs> out. I'm a cash out. Yeah, thank you. And then I, no, I, I'm gonna be good. I just I just haven't done it yet. Crispin, we don't. If you want to pull up, bro, bring some music and it's all good. To yeah, what? Nice. To the uh, flag football game. Oh. Great Southern trend kill. All right, you, you want to hear some negativity, huh? You're about to get shot, shot. Boom, 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 boom. Dude, I, I, have a, I have a couple good. I, I'm going to try to do something for that. Nice. I, never mind. I'm not, I'm not even going. So what am I talking about? Yeah, yeah Stu, that's terrible that you're not going to be there, bro. That sucks, man. I know. I'm looking you forward know. to meeting you, bro. But here's a, here's, here's what I always say, dude. Like, Stu, Stu, we gonna get Stu. Out. You gotta be careful what you wish for, bro. Like, you're gonna be like, God, I wish Stu didn't fucking come. This song, bitch. Like, God damn it, man. He fucking robbed me. He fucking- <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll tell you right now, man. Stu in person is even funner, bro, than than on on camera, bro. Like, thank Stu. you. Stu is just chill when it's cool as fuck. It ain't, it ain't like that, bro. When you no. get with him, add some alcohol. Kick no, it, actually, to be honest with you, I'm actually probably more chill than I am on here because mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm yeah. always like, I'm always peeking this fucking like I can't relax. Bro, I had this motherfucker in the studio, bro. He was in there some khakis with no shirt on, bare bare chested out. Just that's dancing. that's what kind of time I'm on. <laughs> that's what kind of time I'm on, man. That shit yeah. had me dying, bro. I went in. I went in the stripper room and took a and took a nap. Come back in. This motherfucker is damn near naked. In hey, you know what? Hey, me, dude. We, me and Brandon went in there. And was fluffing your pillow up. Hey, Docs, you good, dog? Like, hey, we were chilling, man. It was all. I told B not to come to this trip uh, to L.A. So he'll be in Vegas, but not L.A. Yeah. The way it's set up, we we're not gonna have. Any I know. I, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. I know. I know. So I know. it is what it is. All of this shit is gonna be a grind. Like even Vegas is gonna be a grind, bro. This shit is like. It's a lot of work to have fun, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna it's be a honest, lot of work to have fun. I, I love is, you guys man. and I love the nation so much. I, I can't wait till these two weeks are over with, bro. Yeah, I, I want to get yeah. and relax facts. and get back to work and not have to stress about shit, bro. Because I'm I have very very bad anxiety. Hey, so, look! Hey, look at what JP Pasquale said. Stu pissing in the sink. <laughs> dude, no, that's exactly how I am. No, I'm like, my Fine. wife's like, I was like, dude, I'm glad. Stu, just fun, for you. I'm glad it's over. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Raider, 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 wait, hold flags. on. What is that? What is that? Raider, Raider flags. Oh, flags? Yeah, flag football game, motherfucker. Oh, really? Yeah. Are they Are they like the, do they like the, the little, how, yeah. how do they connect? The same way that you used to use the Wizardator. I know, but, no, but. 
sometimes they clip. And sometimes it's just like a little fucking like the chip same way that you used to piss dirty. What you used to used to use the Wizenator to to pass the drugs for the Raiders. Not the Wizenator, bro. Yeah, hey, bro. Hey, yeah. still, you had like female piss in the Wizenator and shit. No, dude, I didn't. I didn't do any drugs back then. <laughs> back, then. Right. back then, back <laughs> then, back then they didn't want me. <laughs> <laughs> bro, can you imagine? Hey, JP, I swear, bro, I was coming out of the bathroom and fucking. Stu's just right there, just pissing in the sink. <laughs> well, Stu's well, my fuck, idol. You were in there jacking off in the fucking bathroom for an hour and a half. Fuck, I had to piss, bro. Man. I took a 30 second piss, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> hey, 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 wasted. <laughs> He's over there licking the toilet seat and shit. I'm like, this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker stupid. Fuck. Shout out to everybody here. The, man, you already know it's love, you guys. I appreciate y'all for being over here. Shout out to Halo as well, man. Docs tell me hitting them weights, they they definitely help. They definitely help, man. I guarantee you, you, you know this. I mean, out of the the all of all of us, you know who the first one who's gonna be asked the fuck out. You know who that one is. This you said asked the fuck like, out. Way too excited, fucked up, passing. Hammer. Yeah, yeah, hammer. Look, I told M him I'm, I'm putting GPS. The, on. It misses the entire first day. <laughs> I told Hammer, I said, Hammer, I am putting the GPS on you, bro. You are not going to be Doug from the hangover. Well, we got to make sure we find out where you are. The fucked up thing is, he, he look, he got Thor picking him up at 7 in the morning. Oh, Thor, Jesus oh, Christ. Thor's it's, it's, gonna over. His, it's over before we get there. He's going to be yeah. done before we get there. So yo. Thor will be on his second 40 ounce by then. And <laughs> it's a wrap, bro, at that point. Hey, like, Thor, Thor's not even going to be driving with his hands. He's going to drive with his knee. With fucking <laughs> Two Mickey, two Mickey 40 ounces like this. <laughs> that was crazy, fucking crazy. Bro. And you know, you know, Hammer's ass gonna be like, hey yo, hey, you got a hey, hey dog, you got a you got, you got like a bench press somewhere or some shit, man. You got some like you got some dumbbells or something I can work out with real quick though, man. I, you know, you know, oh, like, come on, man. Nobody wanna yeah. hear about that shit, man. Hey man, <laughs> yeah, man think, come on, baby. <laughs> so man, put the fuck hey, away down, man. Out the door. He's in Oakland right now at the A's game, man. At the opening, opening uh, game. Oh no, I saw him with all his boys and all the the fucking A's gear. Yeah, man, I love it, man. I love that shit, bro. Back home in the, back home in the town. Yeah, yeah. Said Hammer claims he's not drinking when he go out there. That's those are lies. He definitely said. That. I, oh, I said it too, but yeah, I was lying. Well, it, I, I say the same things just like in your head, and then like. It actually makes you feel better, like saying that, so that when you get out there, all of a sudden you're like, "Oh, okay, you know what? I kind of changed my mind a little bit." But it, it, it's almost like you're gonna do something good, and and just I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I'm fucking hammered. Fuck no, but, but I but I hear you though. But fuck you, dude. Fuck you, fucking goddamn it, wasted son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I gotta be on my shit. My wife coming with me, man. So you know what I mean. I can't oh, be out. He is. Yeah. Oh, like, cool, cool, yeah, so cool, I, cool. I gotta make sure I'm, I'm I'm on ten to make sure I. No, dude, that's what you want though, because then you. I know should, you yo, I, sh I should, shit. I should have yeah. brought my wife, yo. To be honest with you, I don't want to be out that bitch been. like fucking, like like bizarre from D12 and shit, walking around Vegas with a fucking shower <laughs> cap on and shit. Be honest with you, as, as we get, as, as we get, <laughs> as we get, you know, every year make this like a thing. It will be like a you know where we do bring our wives and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 For me, well, man, when I was in Oakland, dude, like, I loved having her with me because I knew I wasn't going to do nothing stupid. She was there watching me. Like, she was having a good time. Like, I knew I wasn't fucking going to, you know, I was I was good. So I always liked her coming out with me. It's when she doesn't come out with me, I'm like. Yeah. Oh, That's how I am, too, bro. I'll be up in the fucking spirit right I'll talk about uh, shut your mouth, you dirty slut. You know you <laughs> want it in your. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, real quick. I'm just hey, hey, wasted. Speaking of, speaking of butt. I gotta get a spot for us, bro. I gotta get a spot for us. Hey, speaking of butt, oh, no, shout no. out to Hawk, man. This motherfucker is stupid. Look at this picture, okay? Look at Stu, right? It says booty hole <laughs> control on the bottom. Look at that shirt in the corner, right? What it was. Oh <laughs> my god, it's a brown eye. It's a booty hole. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know that booty hole. Fucking I I <laughs> 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 Hawk is stupid, bro. Hey, man. Hey, Hawk is undefeated, bro. I yes, swear. Yes, bro. Hey, who was your brother's favorite Raider? Julian, do you mean now of all time or on the roster right now? Let me know. Because all it doesn't matter. Even matter of fact, it doesn't even matter. Tim Brown is my favorite Raider ever. So 
Hold on, JP just said so. There's there's two spearmint rhinos. There's a peppermint rhino now too. JP oh. Pasquale just said Vegas got a peppermint rhino that just JP, opened don't, up. Don't 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 tell don't, me. don't have me in the fucking blue oyster and shit no, like listen, Police Academy. Listen, <laughs> I, I'm pretty cool. sure I'm right? pretty sure <laughs> that the fucking peppermint rhino is the, the club that we don't want to go to. I think that's where you know it's. I think that's a that's a gay. It's gonna. It's that's, gonna I, I said yeah, the Blue Oyster yeah. Police Academy and shit. Yeah. The, 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 the manhole. The hey, man. who's your who's your guys' favorite Raider, real quick? Oh, man, that's too hard, bro. That's what she said. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. That's look, a good one. look, it's 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 Charles Woodson, Marcus Allen, and Lyle Alzado. Those are my three favorites. I love it. Okay, Bob yeah, Bob I, Bob. I'd say Charles yes. Woodson, Willie Brown. C. Wood is, I mean, C. Wood is number two for me. Charles oh, Woodson, yes. Willie Brown, and Howie Long. Not Marcus I'm, Allen. No, I'm, Marcus not a big, Allen. I'm not a big Howie right. Long fan. I'm Mar- not Marcus Howie Allen, fan. bro. That's my. That was my guy when I was a little kid, Marcus. man. George Atkinson. There you go. He I said, "Lynn Swan, soft." Yeah, I love George <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, he can't Sean. afford AJ Brown, man. Saturday, he 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 me back. He goes, dude, whenever you want me on your show, let me know. George, George Jackson. Jackson. yeah, get the fuck out of that here. Was dog, that, that was my dog. That was my god. That was my fuck, dude. That guy was fucking awesome, dude. Yeah, you always said you always had high like like you. Oh, always dude, he, high regard. he he you know he because at the time you you know he was working for the Raiders, so he do like the little after shit and I'm. And he'd always, I could always see him like sliding, like on the on the undercover with some fucking, you know, some shots and shit. And fucking, I'm like, George, what he goes, still come over here real quick and fucking, we're like, fucking taking my <laughs> <laughs> That's just funny. No, Van City, we can't afford him, bro. We can't afford it. We can't afford it. We just went, we got Devontae. We got to pay Hunter. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got to pay Waller next year. Afford who? Uh, uh, AJ Brown. It's, it's just like oh. the Debo situation. Bro, bro, yeah, it's, it. it's like, yo. We got to stop doing this to ourselves. Seriously, man. That shit is annoying yeah. as hell, bro. Like, every time there's a player available, they're like, hey, maybe maybe we can have fucking Derek Carr and Patrick Mahomes. Hey, like, right. yeah, you can't hey, afford right. all of these hey, guys, right. bro. Come on, bro. He said, no, nah, I know I'm playing. He uh-huh. said, I know I'm playing. Hey, Andy says, Stu, I hope you got your own room. Ain't no bunk beds, bro. <laughs> hey, and no, Andy, dude, you know I was just messing with you, dude. I, I'll have my own spot, dude. I'll, 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 no, right. Listen, I'm kind of disappointed. I was looking forward to the bunk beds. Hey, the bunk I know, but I felt I felt good. like you know, I mean, Andy's younger, and he's probably like, is Stu being is like, is this guy gonna fucking rape me when he gets fucking? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want to, you know, like, yo, Stu. <laughs> what Stu. the fuck? I'm just man. saying, he doesn't know me. You know, what I mean? like he knows me, but he's probably like, I know Stu jokes around and shit, but man, he's been talking about this shit for like the last two weeks. I just want to make sure, like, oh, he's on. He, he's dude, what the fuck, man. Dude, I'm just saying he might like he he. I want him to know that I got my own spot, dude. Like we're cool, dude. I'm I'm not gonna. We're, I don't need. Don't you gonna be like the booty warrior and shit? I I'm prefer saying, jelly. Man, you never. Yeah, know. I like, like the tall <laughs> salad. All hey, I all prefer all sudden, syrup. Andy, Andy, Andy may like he's like, I'm not going, dog. I ain't going. Like I don't know. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not going on this shit, man. Fuck this. Shit. Said, oh, hey, man. <laughs> I just don't want to be nervous when I do if I do go if I get a chance to oh Bo Jackson. Nah, Bo Bo was my favorite as a kid, but it's like he didn't play long enough for me to yeah. put him over Marcus Allen. You know what I mean? And 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 Tim Brown and Chuck and all of them, you know. So definitely Chuck Heisman, bro. See, especially when he came well, back to you know what those who was oh. someone just someone just said Shane Leckler and fucking Seabass, they were bad motherfuckers too, man. Those guys were fun as shit, dude. They're fucking I Bruh, the the, the goaded story. You ever hear uh, 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 Pat McAfee talk about why uh, Sebastian Janikowski's the goat? What? Why? What? What they? What he do? He was like when he got in the drug program, he couldn't drink anymore, and he yeah. was like, "Yo, sea bass, man." He goes, "I don't know what to do, man. I can't fucking do it." He show up at your house. He goes, "They don't show up on boat." <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Take a cruise." He was oh, like, yo, you're a fucking genius. <laughs> he said, what he was, the fuck? He said dude, in the offseason, he was taking cruises so he can drink and shit like that on a cruise. The I, never met, come out, I, I just knew this because I remember when he got busted, it was GHB. And everyone, I'm like, isn't that the date rape drug? Yeah. And like, 
I'm like thinking this motherfucker date raped himself. I'm like, that's a cold motherfucker right there, dude. I'm like, that's fucking badass, man. I was like, see, bass. Hey, where's that GHB? Oh, geez. they put him in the K hole. <laughs> Here he goes. Well, and he said, you looking kind of fluffy, energy, baby. So. I I know, my wife's from Toronto, so I do like the hat too, bro. <laughs> man, fuck this hat. <laughs> <laughs> The Blue Jays are dope, dude. Bro, I don't even know who this team is, bro. Oh, my God. They're, they're the team that our A's uh, beat, a, beat, a, beat a few times these past week. But you Captain Bunk Bed, Andy. Captain Bunk Bed. Fucking is stupid. Let me see. <laughs> Captain Bunk Bed. Shout, shout out to our brother, Andy. What's good, King? Shit, nothing much. Just put up a video and said, fuck it. Let's, let's, let's rock out with the guys. Yeah, I love it, bro. I know Hammer's at work. Or Hammer would have pulled up and came and talked some shit with us. Hey, how are you feeling about these? I've been watching you uh, upload these. You know these these. Uh, what what is it? The the the, uh, the thirty the top thirty the top thirty what? visits. Yeah. How, what what are you what are you seeing right now? I know you guys kind of see a trend, right? Like, like yeah, cornerback of, for sure. Yeah, like speed. fast cornerbacks. Speed, 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 speed in corners. The ghost of Al Davis is upon us. Nah, yeah. for sure, and and. And when you had Scout on too, that I saw, I was watching that one at work on when I was at lunch. I was like, "Yeah, Scout, Scout gonna have some inside scoop on this one." But you know, I think you guys were going over people that he thought was gonna go undrafted, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bro, he said Bubba Bolden undrafted. I'm gonna spit all my water. Bro, you know what's funny though, dog? Like a lot, a lot of these mocks got him going in the seventh though. So if, if that's true, nah. he can fall out. He can fall out, bro. Like he 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 does have a problem in coverage. You know what I'm saying? He could tackle. He could tackle like a motherfucker. But and he was right, though. They did play him out of position in, in Miami. Like, they had him playing free safety when he should be more of a strong. Yeah. I think that with him, though, the year before, he was a top, like, high-end safety in the class. He just didn't come out. He went back to school. I think I, – I don't think that he'll – I don't think that he'll go undrafted. I that think would that be good for us. Yeah, that'd be great yeah. for us. Yeah, no yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah, that'd be great yeah, for us. But yeah. uh, and, and J Dog says he want a ball hog. If you want a ball hog, you really got three options. You got uh, what's his name? Marquise Bell, Verone McKinley, and um, the other dude. What the fuck is his name? Fucking Verone McKinley. You is he not a ball hog? He is, but you love that guy. I know he's yeah, like Verone. That's, that's a ball hog. He's like, bro, Verone, and your boy, bro, and your boy, bro, and your boy, bro, bro, Verone and your McKinley, bro. <laughs> yeah, and your boy, uh, what's his name, Kirby from from Illinois. He's also yeah. he's also a ball hawk. Yeah, Kirby's Kirby nice. Puckett. I like Kirby yeah. Puckett. Nah, Kirby, Kirby Joseph. Oh, okay, Kirby Joseph, is my guy, Kirby Puckett, man. Rest in peace to Kirby. Puckett, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's one he's of the beast. beast. That man stayed on, but he he knew how to get on base. Yeah, man, it's so sad, man. Him getting hit in the face like that. Yeah, I know, bro. That shit was crazy. Shout out to everybody here, man. Shout out to Phil. He said, "Are we giving up on Gillespie already?" No, nah, I like I like Gillespie, man. I think I think that this regime may give him a chance. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why I'm not really tripping about going out and getting a safety like that. Like it's Thor and all the fucking. Oh yeah, yeah. That's yo, fire, Thor. Dude. Yo, Thor is a goat, bro. Thor. Thor is a legend. I I don't know, man. I I think Hammer might be punching out of his weight class. Fucker with Thor, bro. He might be punching out of his weight class. Bro. Oh, dude. Absolutely. He, pu he punched him way above his head fucking hanging out with that old head, you gotta man. Pick you. you can't just roll up and just start fucking with, like, dude, you got to be careful, man. Motherfucker, dude. Oh, Kobe Bryant? Our Thor's a Kobe. fucking, dude, Thor can go for eight, like, at least 48 to 72 hours if he needed to. Straight. Oh, you think so? Oh, yeah. straight, yo, Thor, I bet you Thor is one of the only people I know that could probably drink. Two or three of them old ass sixty four ounce Ballantine L's. Warm, yeah. <laughs> warm. still stand up. Remember them shits? Yep. Hey Stu, you remember? Hey Stu, you remember? I'm about to bring it back with you. Remember Crazy Horse? Yes, uh, bra. Docs, you I forgot you old too, Docs. You remember yeah, Crazy yeah, Horse? All about that shit, bro. Like Crazy Horse. I used to drink on all that shit. Night train and shit, motherfucking. Still reserve. Oh, we're still dude, reserve too. Oh, st dude, still reserve was eleven point one. I do all mouth King Cobras, the wide mouth joints. The only thing I'm drinking is gonna be um uh King Cobra. What what's the wine? God damn it. Oh shit. Oh hey, hey, oh shit, hey, Stu. What? Mad Dog 2020. Yeah. Mad, Mad Dog, Dog 2020. 2020. Hey, Hammer. hey, Hammer, you must have felt, you must have felt. Hey. The, uh... 
Guys, he's it. <laughs> what did Stu do? <laughs> nah, hey, he said, oh, Boone's Farm was my shit, Phil. Dude, uh, yeah, Logan like, David, Logan David, man. He man. said, he said, who's gonna be the first? Carlos Rossi. I'm from Northern California. I would drink a whole hand to a Carlos Rossi. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm Burgundy. gonna, get, I'm gonna get VSOP and fucking uh, uh, hypnotic and make Incredible Hulk. So I'm going back to that shit. Oh. Damn. Not, so basically, not we're talking about you. alcohol right now, Hammer. Stu said you can't drink for shit, and he called. You I never said that. I never fucking <laughs> said that. I heard he called you a hoe. He, he no, did a lot of shit. Stu said that you're a baby <laughs> bad bitch. <laughs> I, hey, Hammer, I heard it all. Heard it all, bro. I did say you were going to look for like a bench press or some dumbbells or some shit. He, I, he, I just, said, he just said basically, bro, you shouldn't be hanging with Thor at all, bro. Noted. Noted. Yeah, we, talk, we, we talked about that. I said, hey, I said, if you want to be uh, if you want to be okay this week or, or the, for the for the podcast Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you might want to. Uh, See, Thor, oh. Thor reminds me of Woodson. Like when the young corners would come in, like, listen. He's one of the greatest ever, but don't do anything he does because you'll get cut, okay? Because do not try to fuck with that motherfucker at <laughs> all. And that really reminds me of fucking uh, Thor, dude. Like, Bruh, Thor, he's an all-star, bro. That motherfucker, dude. He's a rock star for sure. Yeah, hey, bro, you guys think be like, I don't know where the fuck Hammer at, baby. <laughs> last time I saw him, it was like two days ago. I don't know what that that's, motherfucker yeah, that's, that's exactly how it was going to sound like. Nah, like okay. Last time I seen that motherfucker, he had a shower curtain on, a class <laughs> ring, and a horseshoe. I think he was going to a fucking... I thought he was at the airport, on. baby. I mean, if I were you, know, honestly, like, you need that to... sound like Tyson. You need to pre <laughs> though, dude. You, like, you, you can't go in there completely sober, bro. You can't, dude. Nah. Nah. Like, no, we, you, we need, you, need to, you need to fucking start getting your kidneys right right now. I know right when we get there, we're we going to go pick up a few bottles of uh, Wilson whiskey. I already know. they sitting in the locker right now waiting on me. So Let's go. Out. Let's go. Yeah, we get um, that. Yo. Yo. Mount Shieldmore, Mount Shieldmore is all together right now. I know. I was thinking about that right now. But, but, but I realized we had an outsider in the building. So I, 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 I didn't know if it was, you know what I'm saying? Nah, Stu wanted to go <laughs> on top of the mountain. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, 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 Stu, Stu hey is literally the fifth. He's the fifth. He's the fifth guy. I'm the fifth wheel. That's cool. Yeah, you know, you're, you're the fifth oh. guy. Like you know how Wu Tang had wheel. Cap, you know how they had Capadonna. How Capadonna yeah. was like in Wu Tang, but he wasn't in Wu Tang. But he was in Wu Tang. You're you're Capadonna, bro. Wu's like pop. He's like Papa Wu. Yeah, Papa he's like Capadonna yeah. or Papa Wu. He just yeah. pop in and out. Yeah. I don't think I don't think he's taking that as a compliment, no, bro. No, I'm not. See, I, I know those motherfuckers. I, I like I know who those dudes are. I'm not that. I'm not the fucking redheaded stepchild, fucking retarded cousin. That's just no. Nah, he's the goat. He's the goat. Capadonna used to burn shit down. Yo, he's, he's the goat crazy. on the mountain. I like that. He's the goat on the mountain. I like that. Oh, okay. Like that's what that. I said. That's what I said before. He's the goat on the mountain. Stu's a goat, man. <laughs> hey. How could he be a fifth wheel? Still, I did. I did. That. I did the one time when I was talking about transgender. I did bring up the fact that I oh. was a goat. I did bring up the fact that I was a goat. And I, dude, I need. What I want to do is I want to go back through some of those old Bro. films and do like the highlight films. I want to do the highlight films. Hey, thank Pop God I don't have my uh my, Pop my, Smurf. my stuff on today. Yeah. Um, uh, what do you guys think about Cleveland Furl? Is he gonna ball out this season? Shout out to Julian. <laughs> That's a good transition. That's pretty fucking cool, Doc. That's a great transition. You are an MVP. I, tank, I, top, I, tank top skater and docs. I don't fit you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fuck you, bro. Get the fuck out of here, man. It really ain't fit, man, because I'm out here getting swollen and shit. Yo, the merch comes in tomorrow. Thank God. Oh, yeah. I want to I want to see that shirt, bro. You got me the, got the silver and black one, right? The shield, I got you. Okay, Man. yeah, I think Cleve's gonna ball out, Julian. I really do. I think in Graham's system, bro, I think he's gonna eat. Are yep, you? yeah, I, 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 I think he's gonna be used as our, our, our rush defensive tackle, to be honest with you. So, I think he's gonna have a bigger role than a lot of people think. Mm-hmm. I think oh, Bilal Nichols, Nichols is gonna be his backup. I don't think Bilal Nichols is gonna start. Uh, Bilal Nichols doesn't have one pass rush move that he can commit, commit to memory. He's just kind of a straight up, all out bull rush guy, energy guy. So yeah. I, I, I can see I can see Cleveland Farrell putting together a nice little season and getting mm-hmm. that contract together. Thanks. Hey, Stu, look, look, look what's on the screen. Look what Phil put. Capping on a whack. You crazy, man. Capping nice. What's that? We were just talking about 1738. <laughs> we were just talking about this shit right before we got live. Yep. That is funny, bro. That was cool. that was my number. That was my number in high school. 
what, 1738? Yeah. What? <laughs> what? I'm fucking confused as shit right now. Hold on, bro. So, were you like as big as Vince Wolfork back then or some shit? Like, we're like. <laughs> Who? What the fuck? Yo, Mike Jones, motherfucker. <laughs> you said, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Mustard, dog. DJ Mustard. DJ Mustard, yo. <laughs> Shout out to everybody here in the building, you guys. Hey, Stu, have you seen the new intro? What is it? What? No, to to your little your little fucking uh, gangbang fucking group here or what? Wow, wow. wow. If Are that doesn't shout out Dukaki? racism, <laughs> yeah, that that was terrible, man. Hey, that's cold, bro. Yeah. Hey, Stu just had a yo. Stu just had a Gruden moment. There, I said it. You, you what's call, a, wait, hold on. What's a Gruden moment? Is this? This is not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge, sanctioned by the new founding fathers and America, a nation reborn. May God be with you all. Check Stu's emails. That's what that's what Matt said. This Yo, man. No, Stu was talking about bang bros. He wasn't talking about actual game. Is that Mount Fuckmore? My, Yo, is that Mount my, Fuckmore? My bad. Or... My bad. Oh. My bad, Doss. I'm fucking yo. Sorry, man. So <laughs> oh shit. Y'all motherfuckers, Mount Rushmore, and then the founding fathers. That's purge. The purge. Y'all some arrogant ass motherfuckers, dog. Facts. God damn, man. Sure am. This is facts. <laughs> facts. Fuck, 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 fuck. You gotta be. No, no, it was dope. That was cool as shit, dude. Who made yeah, that? Andy, Andy, throw the shades on, bro. Throw who the shades all, on. Hey, who made all that shit? Uh, Prez. Prez, he did. Oh, dude, that was fucking fat. I got to. Fuck. Yo. Out the Prince. So, they said, so basically what they saying is Hammer going to show up in Vegas like Mr. Marcus and shit. <laughs> yeah, Tim's in the LA hat. <laughs> the guys, yeah, man, Tim's with, with the shorts on my New York <laughs> shit. Walk with me. Oh shit. Shout out to Phil. He said that was magnificent. Appreciate you, brother. Shout out to everybody here in the conversation. We're just having some fun tonight, you guys. You know how it is, man. You got we got the Mount Shieldmore together and our brother, man, uh Stu, man. You know, on the graphic Stu show tonight. We talked about Jamarcus Russell uh, potentially coming on the show. We talked about um can we talk um, about I think it was yeah, we didn't talk about anything, have we? I mean we really haven't talked about shit, really. <laughs> yeah, well, oh. you got some notes, you always got fucking notes. What, what do you have what do you have of it? Is there anything worth talking about on that goddamn piece of paper? I'm not gonna let you cheat up cheat off of me, motherfucker. Fuck you, man. Oh, so oh he was one of those. Oh, yeah. Stu is a whack motherfucker in the yeah, class. Why the fuck no, y'all no, look no, like Kumo D and shit, man? Where you got them Kumo D glaucoma shades from, man? Oh man, Stu is one of them. No, oh, I see, do, no, trust see, me. No, now we gotta leave. Now we gotta leave these two motherfuckers out. What's going on, man? What we doing? Hey, listen. Some I'm gonna tell you this, Andy. Andy, Andy listen. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this. If you want to have fun like in Vegas, sometimes that made me wonder what. Like, keep them going under. Dip out on these motherfuckers <laughs> and come fucking just just follow me, brother. All right, that's all you need to do. I'll, I thought you ready. weren't coming. What happened? This motherfucker talking I'm about not, fun. Don't I'm let not, motherfucker I'm copy of his paper. Bro, all I know was he was just talking about rape a second ago, bro. Don't follow this man nowhere. Yes. True, bro, true, that's true. why I hopped on here, bro, because look. <laughs> I, hey. Bro, Stu was Did out here wilding, bro. Hey. High risk, high reward, bro. High risk, high reward. <laughs> bro, yo, he said, he said, this dude is wild, yo. Oh, 
Yo, oh, Hammer, you oh can't God. wear them shades. Everybody gonna think you police if you wear them shades out in Vegas, bro. I was like, yeah, it is. Like, you about to go tell us somebody right now with them shits on, yo. So I fly to the world, Craig. I die for this <laughs> shit, too. <laughs> Not hey, did y'all did y'all see that draft? What what did y'all think about that draft? I I thought the oh, only I thought the only person that was tripping was 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 my was my brody Kenny King. Uh, what draft? Well, yeah, what draft? running back like mad high. I yeah. was laughing when I heard when I saw that. I was like, dude, our running back depth chart is deep right now. Like, what are you doing? Man, oh, you you, you hey, you know how I feel about that first that 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 uh, pick eighty six. That's a dub. Yeah. That's a plus. I know that shit. Uh, what was the fourth round pick? Hacho went grab Brian. Uh, uh, Asamoah. Asamoah. Yeah. The goat. Who's the fourth round pick? Brian Asmoah. <laughs> Kenny King took Brian Robinson, right? In the fourth? Yeah. Oh, F draft. Yeah. It was, it was kind of crazy. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, I'm gonna bring it up real quick. Hold Who the scout take? He took Cobra Brian. No, he took. He took. Uh, was it Slayer? Slayer? Uh, oh, Slayer. Slayer. Sell your guard out of uh, uh yeah. yeah, so this is how oh, but but uh, the one I seen was Cody got JT Woods, right? Yeah, that was nice. Cody had a nice pickup too, the safety out of uh, Baylor. It is fucking pouring out here, man. It yeah, was man. raining too over here, man. It's raining like 10,000 motherfuckers tonight. Hey, 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 Hammer, your, your cousin never called, and I hope like. Maybe they just went back or something, but they never they never called today. So I'm gonna try to reach out. To, I'll try to call tomorrow, I guess. I, know, I, just, I just want you to know, like, like I, I think they probably were, you know, they probably traveled for far, and they're probably like, "Fuck it, man, let's get the fuck out of here." So I just want you to know, I was, I was, I was looking, I had everything ready for him, but I got you. Yeah, appreciate you. <laughs> still the goat. You had a goat on top of Mount Shield more. The chat still is love you still. Yeah, I, I'm, yeah. I'm, the, I'm the fucking yeah, janitor. The fifth, yeah. I'm, the, I'm the fucking janitor cleaning the bird shit off the fucking. The fucking <laughs> hey man, at least Stu knows. You feel me? At least he knows. <laughs> That's it. Hey Jack, I didn't see it. Did he do a live about it? I, I didn't see it. Oh shit. Who? Um, what happened? Now, I know I was the only one that got an A. As you should. As you should, graphic. Wait, what was what was what was Asamoah's grade? Andy, tell her to leave, bro. Stu, what the fuck? Bro, yo, Gabe, I know Gabe is gonna try to get a motherfucker loaded, bro. I don't smoke, bro. Hey, yeah. Hey, I'm, hey I'm telling you, man, you need it, dude. Uh, I dude, you, be careful out there, dude. Vegas, it's a, it's it's a fucking it's it's a man's fucking town, dude, man. And there's a lot of fucking uh, vices out there, dude. You gotta be careful who you hang with. Andy, Gabe, yeah, is gonna you be gotta be careful, careful that you don't find yourself with Stu. Gabe, <laughs> Gabe is gonna get with Jeffrey out there, Andy. Oh, well, I was out there with Jeffrey a while ago, bro. Tweaking, yo. If he's stroking Wait, the tweaking, yo. Tweaking, yo. About a week ago, a week ago. He's going to be stroking the furry walls in the Ahern. Watch. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What was Asamoah's grade? Got to be uh, at least a B, right? Nah, you gave him a C plus. Oh, hell no. Nah. Yeah, we're going to give that pick a C plus, everybody. I disagree. With, I, I thought Hancho got, should have got at least a B plus for that. At least a B plus. Oh, definitely, bro. Asamoah, bro. That dude's yeah. ceiling is crazy. He gave Kenny I, a, D, a D, I believe. For, bro, that for, shit should have been a super F. I think he gave a a, a, a Cody a B for um for the safety out of Baylor, and then he gave uh yeah, I think he gave Scout a B too. This motherfucker is back. Thank God. Who who's grading this shit, Mitch? Yeah, uh, Mitch Mitch graded him. God damn, that mm-hmm. motherfucker drive full of fucking defense ends or some shit. All eyes on G. No, I will. That good, good stuff there. That's I, I definitely will. Hey, what wasted? What what draft did you do? I didn't see it. What you mean, me? I didn't do no draft. You said wasted did a fire ass. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. The other day I did one at the end of the show. Is Hancho gonna be out there or no? Nope, he don't fly, bro. Was he John Madden? The fuck? Yo, Jimmy. Why? I want to go to Top Golf. I'm dead ass trying to go to Top Golf. Yo, listen, listen. We don't need you want, any rugs. Nine 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 I mean, why do you want to go to Top Golf for? You're in Vegas, dude. Seriously, you want to go fucking golf? 
Hey, that's what our quarterback and wide receiver do. And they're fucking lame. Dude, I'm telling you. I- these motherfuckers got paid. I need, I need to help you guys out, man. Listen, need- man. If I'm getting, if I'm. What what is this? DC's second hundred million plus contract. Yo, look yes, how sir. troubled Stu is right now, yo. It's look how guy. troubled. Hey, hey, you know it's good, bro. Bring bring the uh bring the helmet through. We'll all definitely sign and all that, brother. For sure. Bro, you want to you want to go you want to go to Vegas and go hit some golf balls. Stu is conflicted as fuck. I guarantee you, he will show up bro, next week out of nowhere. Bro, Stu lives in fucking Indianapolis or wherever the fuck he's at. So well, he got no, nothing no, else no, to no, do. In, Indiana is close. I mean, it's close. West Lafayette. Yeah, well, whatever the fuck. He lives in the middle of nowhere, so he got nothing to do. And then he goes to Vegas. He don't know how to act. He don't know how to act in his living room. Trust me. <laughs> That's facts. Damn. They, hey. they know they know me in Vegas, bro. Hey, Andy, Andy, Andy came with all, all the wrong reasons. For all the wrong reasons. <laughs> Yo, this motherfucker. Oh, shit. Stu's gone. Uh-oh. Staff. Is that his probation card? <laughs> that, that was a season opener, right, Stu? Hey, Hammer. Yeah, brother. We're going to church when we get to Vegas, man. <laughs> Look at that. I need Jesus in my life. That's for damn sure. Raph, I know you don't got a bottle opener when you can just open that shit up with your key, bro. Why would I do that when I got a red? Oh, you I... right. You right. You right. You right. <laughs> I, just, I, I just thought it was a plain Jane black fucking nah, bottle opener. Like, you know? We don't do nothing plain around here. Everything is Raiders, man. Curtis said, first stop, Bunny Vegas, Ranch. Bro. Yeah, nah, I'm not going to the Bunny Ranch. I don't want to end up like Lamar Odom. Yeah, I'm cool uh, on the Bunny Ranch, bro. We, we, we married men, man. Yeah, Face I'm down, coked married, out bro. in the middle of a bed. Yeah, I'm good. Listen, I'm a married man. <laughs> Robert said their libraries are good out there in Vegas. Oh, fuck. Listen, we going to church as soon as we get the Facts. little hey, praise and worship. Next week, this. guys, we're going to do uh, a Tuesday, I believe. Or is it Monday or Tuesday? We're going to do our last final mock drafts before we get to Vegas. So we're going to all have a separate, everyone from Mount Shilmore, a separate mock draft with all uh, five picks. So stay tuned for that. We're going to do a Mount Shilmore show next week. I don't know whose house it's at. I don't even know where wasted. it is. But Okay, is it wasted or is it? Is, I don't we know haven't done it at your shit yet, right? No, I don't think so. It's, bro, whatever. We'll do, I, we'll, I thought we were doing the live from church. <laughs> hey, it be lit, bro. I'm trying to tell you. Hey, man. You want to get hit by a lightning bolt tonight, don't you, Hammer? You out in the rain. I'm in the house. You better chill. I'm in the car. <laughs> The good Lord will smite you. That's what needs to start happening. I, I believe that that needs to start happening again. People need to get smited again. This world bro, is fucked up. We're really going to be out there, bro. This shit is next week, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. Four more work days. I'm off tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Monday and half a night Tuesday, and I will be in Vegas. Thank God. Listen, bro, bro my job. Definitely- Definitely doing that. If I get there in time, I know Hammer will be over there. I don't know if I'm going to be there in time. I don't land till 4.35 o'clock. So. And I know Andy don't get to Vegas till like 9, 9.30 or some shit. Yeah. So, like, listen, it's going to be very, very colorful, baby. It's going to have all kinds of liquor there. You know what I'm saying, man? <laughs> hey, we baby, listen. Yeah. Listen, we on that base shit, man. You got the pool. <laughs> We're going to have the grill going. Hammer's over there in the corner in the doghouse. I don't know what the fuck Hammer doing right now. Yeah, nah. Only way I, I pull, know, only way I pull up to that house is if I know at least two of the two of the three of y'all are with me because I ain't going there Hammer, alone. Fuck that. Hammer, Hammer, listen, I'm gonna tell you something. I got your back. Your man wasted. Is always keeping a clear head. You know how I am. <laughs> Yo, look at Stu, dog. This motherfucker. We're still playing the Wii or some shit? Hey, this motherfucker just in the background. <laughs> I just said. Stu said, man, fuck y'all, man. Hey. hey. Yo, <laughs> Stu did this on one of the lives, I think. I think it was either the, well, the Colts game or, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. This motherfucker was in the background. Me and Grab over here talking over the game. This motherfucker in the background just chilling, just doing, just doing his own thing on the couch. Said Stu taking a polygraph test. <laughs> <Stupid>. <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't think I'm getting inked up while I'm out there. It's gonna be ninety something degrees the entire time we're away. Nah, I, there's no way in hell I'm getting inked up out there. I think I'm going tomorrow to get inked. I, I've been like itching for that shit, bro. I think I'm gonna get my whole neck hit tomorrow. 
I've been saying it for too long. I'm about to get blasted, bro. And then you're going to fucking struggle because that shit takes two weeks to heal, bro. Wait until you come home. I got so many of these motherfuckers, bro. Like, uh, that shit heals right when I walk out the fucking uh, the spot. Bro. Oh, y'all gonna go out there drawing on yourself and shit. Yeah, just, like, just, just don't don't get no bullshit when y'all out. Don't get drunk and get like a Bugs Bunny tattoo or some bullshit like that. I'm gonna yeah. have my I'm gonna, oh. I'm gonna have my, my sons draw some. <laughs> bro, that's what I was just about to say. When Lim Bowden had his son draw a fucking dolphin on him and he got it tatted. Yeah, that's no, I, I, my my daughter. My daughter drew this when she was young. Like I got it tattooed on it. I like that type of shit. If it's meaningful, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout to Q. He said, it waste to be making Thor sound like the water boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got him sounding like Bobby Boucher. I don't have him sounding like that. Mama said, my mama said, my mama said. Stupid, bro. Shout Damn, you, yo, they got a bunch of clowns in the chat talking a lot of shit. I, I, I think it's very, very funny, very entertaining. Get the yeah. stamp hammer. I had to actually, get a tramp stamp and shit. <laughs> yeah. I, you know what's funny? I was blasted. Pause. I'm How many of y'all in the chat are actually pulling up to Vegas? I blocked four people today on this live. Bro, when you played the intro, all I seen was Pete blocked. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck happened? I was just blocking shit. Like, like bro, hey, it's a new year, brother. I'm trying to tell you, I'm not giving no energy. I'm just deleting Hammer. Just blocking shit. Motivation, dude. That's motivation, dude. What's motivation? The shit talking, dude. I still plan on laying somebody out there in the flag game. I'm just putting it out there again. But you're gonna lay yourself out, motherfucker. No. That... <laughs> I think he, dude. I think he's been itching for you, Docs, man. I think he wants to catch you on that fucking slant route, bro. Hey, I'm t- hey, bro. If you catch me slipping, bro, I'm just letting you know I won't be able to work for a while because the way this back is set up, it is it's just disgusting, bro. Like for real, for real. Hey, 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 and give me at least a couple weeks because. Yeah, my, my, the way my a couple weeks. No, the way my benefits is set up, like I ain't really covered right now, y'all. So make sure, yeah, just, yeah, 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 chill, yeah, chill with all, yo, all of that. Yo, yeah, just hold me down, man. YouTube don't take care of me in that, in, in, in that sense. You know what I mean? So listen, you, we, you know, I, I got you, docs. I got yeah, you, bro. Man, all that coming out of pocket at the hospital, that shit ain't it, bro. Aren't we all on? Aren't we all on the same fucking team, anyways? I, I don't plan we on don't fucking know hitting what the you. Fuck going happen? Yeah, bro. we don't know who the fuck team we're on. Like, all I know is this. All I know is this. Stu better not be on my team. <laughs> Stu nah. not even coming out Stu's there, not man. even coming. For real? Stu's coming. Yes. Stu's gonna be there. Yo, Stu, yo, yo, you see, yo, you see how worried, you see Stu how relieved you he were? He said, Stu not coming? He said, what? <laughs> <laughs> you relieved to the motherfucker. Stu, Stu's missing out on a shot at the belt. Yeah, he's, he's going to be an indie. You think I want to go out there and hang out with you cock-blocking fucking losers? <laughs> Why the fuck would I want to do that? Hey, we'll remember, 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 remember that one time you stopped talking to Rob Woodson to come see me outside? Yeah. Yeah, shut the fuck up. She's don't want to hang out with I don't want to hang out with me. Hey, I'm a pretty cool guy, man. Swearing at me. Still, you'd be lucky if you can actually hang <laughs> with me. Swearing at me, bro. This motherfucker. <laughs> You're fucking swearing at me, man. He said, Raider Ruckus said I better be on team booty hole. Oh my god. No, Andy on team booty that's, hole. That's <laughs> Shout out to Ken. I appreciate you, brother. Graphic, my 916 brother. Wasted too. No, Notre Dame to LV. To, yeah, you already know, brother. Who said you Notre Dame? Who, who said that dumb gay ass shit? Here we go. Uh, uh, spoiler maker. We got a spoiler maker in the house. Fucking Notre Dame. I'm not going to lie, bro. When I found out that their shit was the boilers, bro, that shit was dead immediately, bro. That shit is whack. The boy, huh? I mean, Yo, what do you have to say about that? That's his opinion. I mean, fuck, I didn't know what the fuck. <laughs> hey, 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 they, they some pipe so, fitting so. motherfuckers, man. Hey, so boilers, man. Purdue, they put boilers in, they give motherfuckers yeah. heat. Yep, we won, we, we, we won trains on uh, little fucking Hispanic. Oh God! Here we go. Not guys wearing Toronto hats. Like we want trains on those. Oh my guys. God! That is suspect, Stu. That is super sus. But fuck sus. Yeah, I, I, got, I gotta take my Super Mario. Wait, super Mario or <laughs> that motherfucker Italian? That's Mario. Crazy, dude. That's fucked up, dude. That, that's hey Donovan, up, dude. That's my brother. It, we still have VIP tickets. If you want to grab two of them, um, Cash App at Graphic Raider, brother. Cash out. 
or hit me um at oaklawsvegas at gmail.com. I got everybody's uh who, who, anybody who's already went and got the VIPs, you guys are already set up. Just show us the cash app when you pull in, you guys are good to go. Yo. But Donovan, if you want to get him, brother, reach out to me on Instagram. I can give you my uh all my information or go to oaklawsvegas at gmail.com, send me an email, and I'll send it over for you. You know what I mean? Saying? I gotta call my cousin and see if he's fucking um if he's staying at the Ahern or not. I think the Ahern booked up, bro. Yeah, the Ahern's booked up now, y'all. It's sold out. What is it? What is it? The, the A what is it? The, the Ahern, Ahern hotel? hotel, bro. We 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 sold the Ahern hotel out in less than a week, bro. Really? That's done. That shit's done done. Mm. Shout out to everybody, man. That we I was should be, man. Shout out to the rules up. We appreciate the nation, your new headquarters, the Ahern Hotel, 300 West Sahara Ave in Vegas. Yep, talk that shit, my brother. It's pretty creepy, you know the fucking exact address of the fucking place, but whatever. We've been promoting it for two weeks, fuck nut. Hey, some people show up to work, Stu. It's fucking weird. <laughs> Ain't that the <laughs> pot calling the kettle black? <laughs> hey, as you're handling business, it's fucking weird. <laughs> fucking out of pocket, bro. Hey, hey, you know, hit me up on IG, bro. Hit me up on IG, I'll set you up. Yeah, Stu, like, listen, man. He's at all this structure. The hell's going on here? Yeah, man, like, dude, you guys just you know, I like I like dude, I like the fucking I like the structure though, for real. That's good shit. Stu likes structure, but he prefers organized chaos instead. Well, see, I just that's well, that, that's, that's what you do with football. The fun happens, dude. No, that's no, when the no, fun Stu happens. likes to have the structure and then and then to beat the fucking structure down. It, like, it, well, you gotta play it by ear sometimes, bro. Like just let the wind take you where the fuck it goes. That's why your name is Stu. You like for life to be like Stu. You just add a whole bunch of things in a pot. That's why this motherfucker is a comes boiler out. maker or whatever the fuck. See, well, or, now or, you're getting it, dude. Now you're getting it. Or you can go with stupid. I mean, let's just be real. S T U P I D. You know what I'm saying? Stu, was, listen, you are a brilliant not, man, Stu. That was not a funny joke at all. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 this still, you, still, you're a brilliant man. No disrespect, brother. Thank you. Thank you. You're a brilliant yeah. man. I remember the last time we were on together, man, we were talking about incomplete combustion and carbon monoxide. We were talking about the periodic table, all kinds of shit. You remember that? <laughs> and now it's completely you know what, different. seven in the morning? Yo, my God, what the fuck are we talking about, bro? We were talking about all kinds of shit, bro. You're a brilliant man, bro. See, I'm talking about the periodic table with that yellow mic. No, we were talking about fucking the nucleus and fucking atoms. And how do you know what if the atom's a fucking atom if you can't yeah. see it? And you're like, dude, it was awesome. I loved it. I, I... That was the best, man. Yeah, no, it, was, it was a good time. We made everybody very uncomfortable. And that was what I, that was my whole plan. To sulfur yellow microphone. <laughs> Who? Hey, it's going to be an annual thing, Kenna. It'll be an annual thing, my brother. I promise you. Well, yeah. Yeah, no, for sure, dude. Uh, Donovan 209, I just hit you up on IG for the info, bro. I'm going to send – I just got it. I'm going to send you everything over. Whether it be walk-up, VIP pass. Yes, really. You can get a uh, walk-up as well. Yeah, just yeah, just come on down, man. Listen, I think a couple listen. of us. I think a couple of us did post it on uh, our IGs, like a regular post. So check it out, and all the details and information is there for you guys. But you hey, guys, hey, no, honestly, it's free. It's free. Just one more free. time. Just, just come on. The people that think Ever. we're trying to milk shit, the event is free. I wouldn't bring your laptop, dude. Why? Shit gets lost out there. I mean, you you might like fucking. I just. <laughs> I would bring it the least amount of shit. Hmm, maybe I'll put my Glock in my bag too. How about that? Well, I'm just saying, dude, that's a nice computer, man. And <laughs> damn, man, might... you come. So you come. You, you come and strisnap. I might I throw. It to. I might throw it in the pool. Hey, I don't want to do that. You, so You're we not know we have it. You might throw it in the pool. I'm gonna use it as a fucking flotation device, dude. You're not so... coming. Don't Stu, bring your computer, please. Stu might be coming, bro. I think Stu's going to just show up like Batman. I'm a bring yeah, Stu is just going to pull up out of nowhere. Hey, and he's going to be like when Damon came out in the third Friday. First, first thing this motherfucker is Stu's going to say is, <laughs> dude, this is this is what Stu's going to say if he pops up out there. I don't know. Andy, What's up, motherfuckers? Andy, <laughs> Pretty fucking good. He's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking pull up on some Fogel shit. He'd be like, gangsta. <laughs> <laughs> What's that guy? And he's fucking right. Because they're like Stifler from fucking American Pie. Hey, fuckers. Hey, fuckers. fuckers. Hey, fuckers. <laughs> These 
fucking stupid, bro. Shout out to everybody still in the building, even after all this fucking crazy shit. Hey, <laughs> oh, bro, you do not want to do a mock draft. Uh, Stu doesn't. It's, it's going to be five Stu? guys get drafted for Purdue. No, we only, dude. We only. We're not going to get George. He won't go that long. We we, we, we might have a shot at David Bell, but he, he's probably going to be on two after that. We don't have anyone. Stu Carlisle, where do you have Carlisle this ranked? Out of all the defensive ends in this draft. Uh oh, Jason Farnsworth, chill with all that Jamarcus Russell slander. We got to hear him out first. Don't don't come with that negativity. I want to hear Jamarcus Russell on Thank this you. channel. I want I want to hear what he has to say. Him, I'm actually using him as a fun fact for the draft during my interview tomorrow with uh, Sports Life Talk. Thank Let's you. Go. Let's go. Thank you. Oh yeah, um, the girls. Uh, what is oh, it? Oh 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 yeah yeah. I yeah. the 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 Vegas girls. I think so. What if dresses and salted pretzels? This motherfucker, I knew it. I fucking knew it. That son of a bitch hammer. What <laughs> <laughs> the hell is he talking about? Hey, I don't know, but that shit was hilarious. <laughs> that, I, that, that bitch hammer, I fucking knew it. I'll tell you what happened. He got hooked on lean and liked to eat too much chicken. Jason Farnsworth, wash your mouth out with soap. Jamarcus Russell is a legend, and he will be on this channel. Hey, I, I, I'm not going to say he's a legend at Damn all. Damn it, he's a legend. <laughs> listen, listen, how many people can you name when you talk about draft bust before you get to him? Uh Ryan Leaf and and and, and then you Marcus Russell. All what right, so that be? makes him that makes him legendary. It's a legend. Yeah, Leave yeah. him alone. I want to hear him out. Listen, Jamarcus, you have love from some people in the nation. I know it was rough for you in the rough days of the Raiders. We want to hear your story, Jamarcus. No, 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 no. I'm gonna say this. Okay. Point blank, period. As a Raider fan, I don't give a fuck about Jamarcus Russell. But as a human, be a human being, I want to hear what he has to say. I want, at the See, end of the day, we're, you can't we're, separate the two, right? You can't separate the human oh. being from the Raider. Yeah, well, at that point. Like, what I, the fuck is this dude doing? Holy no, Ruckus, shit. the interview tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern time, 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. It's on uh, Sports no. Life Talk on YouTube. No, OG Fade on the real, seriously. I'm not calling them. I'm just kidding around, but for real, I'm I'm intrigued. All jokes to the side, I'm intrigued to hear this brother out because he's a person, right? You know what I mean? Like, like we we forget these players are people. They have problems in their lives. They have certain issues, certain hangups, and they're these young men who come into the National Football League with all these millions of dollars and demons to go along with those millions of dollars. Hello, hello, fucking so, so if you have millions of dollars to go along with your demons, it's not going to work out right. You know what I mean? You, you see a guy like a Peyton Manning? No guidance. No guidance. No guidance. Peyton Manning? Peyton Manning had a solid foundation. He had a loving family. And and, yeah. and then when you're in a situation where you get money, you're the only one around you with money, it, it's it's a lot. And I, listen, I've never made that kind of money. And, and, and I, have, I have things in my life to where it's like I got people coming at me and you know what I mean? So I look, I get it, bro. I had to grow up too fast. I get it. I understand. I just want to hear the brother out, man. Just forget as a, as a Raider. Seriously, I just want to hear what the man has to say as a person because he is a person. He has feelings, and I'm sure there's certain things that we didn't know about. And it's going to be a very intriguing um, situation. As a Raider, he did nothing for the Raiders. You know what I'm saying? And and that was a sad thing because I was pulling for him. No disrespect to him. I'm just saying it wasn't like I can be like, yo, like even with Terrell Pryor, I could remember that 75 yard run down the middle of the field with Jamarcus Russell. Wasn't a whole lot of that. It was 99 yards wasted. Whatever, how, however long it was, it was the shit in Pittsburgh. Do not put Damon Arnett in It was in Oakland fucking... against Pittsburgh. It was in the do, town. Do, do not put town. Arnett Whatever. in the I'm same fucking category, y'all. Arnett is Pittsburgh. just a straight up certified fuckboy. Come on, man. What look, the fuck bro. is going on? Hey, uh, uh, look, uh, look, I'm not just because this is Stu's partner. I'm not gonna act like like I don't feel some type of way about Jamarcus Russell. I do, but but as no, a man, I want to hear. Guys, no, you guys can say whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm, no, but I'm saying as a man, all I, I want to hear. Is just let him let yeah. him say his thing, and yeah. then then yeah. make your opinion. That's yeah, all that's I'm what saying. I'm saying because yeah. every time I hear about stuff like this from guys who were like supposed bust. Yep. It's always something that you never heard. heard it's of. always oh, something that happened to them that we're taking a know, ride. It's it's always something that you never heard. I really want to hear this. Yep. I yeah. do. That's and me. Then after, hey, and then after that, 
yeah. shit. That, whatever he says, if that pisses people off or whatever, then that's fucking. You know what? What did, I, what did I tell you, Stu? I said that this can be a, a, a situation where if he comes on and starts talking, it could be like, uh, who, who did I relate it to yesterday? I said uh, it'd be yeah, like you did. I, um, 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 oh, Kwame like, Brown. Kwame Brown. Kwame Brown. Kwame Brown. Kwame Brown. So yeah, it, it could be on. like a former, you know, number one guy that just yeah. never really lived up to the expectations. Yeah. Uh, paid a lot of money, but then ended up doing the podcast, and people love. I actually think talk. that Jamarcus Russell and Kwame Brown might be the same person. To be honest. No, no, Kwame Brown had a much better NBA. Kwame Brown played in the NBA for like eleven no. years. I know, but dude, they sound and look the country is far. Yeah. yeah, dude. When I say like, yes, I think they might be the same person. I'm pretty sure that. Oh, I think we see that Anderson back are the same person. So, get it. Fox no, deal. not not at all. Yo, oh, sorry, sorry. Yo, Raph, Hammer. Raph and that uh, that dancing motherfucker would be the same dude. Damn rule for sure. Is that who it is? Yeah, yeah. damn rule. <laughs> damn rule. Fucking uh uh uh. uh what's his what was his man's name? Oh, damn. What you do? That's a nasty stroke. Oh, what is you doing, oh, baby? Yeah. Hey, baby. <laughs> what, what, what is you doing, baby? Hey, hey, well, no, hey, hey, so get this right. So, the, so I talked with Docs the first time that I did like an interview with him or whatever. And then I, I was like going on my like trying to get into social media. And I was, I'm like, damn, Docs can fucking dance, man. That motherfucker be dancing his fucking ass off. And then you know, from Instagram, I was like, man, dude, I'm like, I didn't know Docs had moves like that shit, man. Every time I see that guy, there's no way Docs can move like that. There's no I'm way. From California, man. <laughs> hey, but we, we don't. We don't. call it. We call it gigs. Wasted. We got gigs. One. You don't from. dance. You don't dance. We boogie, right? Yeah. No, nah, that's an LA thing. Oh fuck you! I don't give a fuck. I'm we got gigs. gigs. We got gigs. Where I'm from, man. Raph, you know you can't move like that, boy. Uh, yeah. I don't want to move like that. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, come <laughs> on, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, we, no, you, we, yeah. We can get it in, man. I, I was, I was def, I definitely played my role in the hyphy movement. I'll tell you that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah. hey, hey. Uh, wait. <laughs> I swore, I swore up and down that fucking Docs was just as high yellow as I was. Shit. I might, I might be, bro, I might be darker than you when I see you, bro, to be real. I be. Real, <laughs> real shit. Real, real shit. Hey, Vegas going to be 90 degrees, too? Yeah, I'm going to yeah, end thought, up getting brown as fuck out there. Watch. Yeah, listen, Hammer, I, I really thought that you owned a bodega and shit. I had no idea, yo. Nah, I man. Like me, and, me, and, me and Hector with Meow don't get, to, don't, uh, get along very well. Hey, stupid, bro. I thought, hey, you say you have $5. I don't know. You got $5? You got $5, you got $5. He'd be, got five dollars, he'd be sitting on the Wonder Bread too much. Me and Hector and Meow don't get down like that. Hey, what the fuck? I, I, I don't know nothing about no $5, man. Get the fuck out of my store. <laughs> he said he owned, a, he owned a fucking bodega. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Omar asked Andy, what, what, what's your take on Jamarcus, man? Did you, I mean, you were, you were young. Hey, we're, not, hey, we're not doing Jamarcus right now, dude. I, I don't even want to do it, man. Please. Hey, no, I, I just don't want everybody to be it. such dicks about it. Like, I, I, I want to hear what the man got to say. Well, that's well, well Andy's too young to even really know about Demarcus that's Russell. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, don't I was fucking that. three. Yeah. God damn, man. Damn, you were three? It's not, even, it's not even a fucking, like, I don't, I don't even. Oh, here we go with this shit. Motherfucker. He said, he said I bet I bet Stu got uh, uh, Greg Olsen in his closet. Probably does, bro. Definitely, he'll definitely probably gonna pop out one of these lives. Here we go. Stu, Stu will open up. That same bum ass magazine talking about man, these records, man, they were never here before Greg Olson, man. You know, <laughs> what the fuck got here? Like, what? Like, come on, man. Look at that bum ass man. All right, my ass is going back inside for like what 10 minutes, and I'm fucking done for the night. So if you guys are still on, I'll be back. All right, brother. Captain Lou, peace yeah, out. We love you, baby. Hey, we love you, man. You know that. Yo, my I'm man, better. Captain Lou Albano himself, young Captain Lou. He's <laughs> <laughs> a motherfucker. See, he, we're, taking, we're, taking, we're taking all this shit down fucking next Tuesday. But, here, no, but here's the problem is we I'm can taking all... my shit down too, bro. We... I fucking asshole. Jesus taking God. this shit down, bro. Edward go ahead, Norton. Go ahead Stuart. Edward, Edward, Edward Norton Stuart. from fucking... Uh... Stuart the Boiler. No, so... Here's the thing, though. Like, we can all joke around each other, but I guarantee you there's going to be someone that's like, thinks they kind of know us and say some jokes and, like, 
what the fuck did you just fucking say to them? Like, don't fucking say some like. Oh, that's oh. why I don't play with people like that. Per- perfect yeah. example. Perfect example. Tubby, don't call me that shit. <laughs> don't call me that shit. Hey, uh, look, just, just don't call you that. What he called you? Wait, 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 Tubby, what do you I know. I, I couldn't hear it either. I, 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 what? I just said, Tubby, don't call me that shit. That's all I said. Oh, 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 oh. Hammy. 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 <laughs> don't call me that shit. Call him Hammy. Hey, nah, hey we, we all have fun. Hey, look, I'm one of the people, we could talk all this shit in the world. I don't give a fuck. Just don't do it in front of my wife. Just be respectful around my wife. Uh, other than that, but it's just the homies be shooting the shit. Let's it shoot. could be jokes until I feel like a motherfucker trying to get disrespectful. Yeah. She probably smack the fuck class. out of one of us anyways, Docs. Let's be real. Let's... Hey. <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not a violent person, man. I, I like to, you know, like to be mm-hmm. nice. Come in peace, Look, man. Yeah, when man, it I'm... comes to, to to people that that I will say fuck you and I don't want to hear nothing they got to say. Yeah. It's Antonio Clown. Stewart. <laughs> let, me, let me get inside for they start crying. I'll, I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, brother. <laughs> Stewart. That's that's one of them. Yo, no, no, Antonio Clown. <laughs> I like fuck Randy Moss. I know. This motherfucker, man. Trentus Brown. What about Trentus Brown? Trent Brown. I'm cool on Trent Brown. I don't got no problem with him, bro. Trent Brown. The Raiders almost killed that guy, bro. Hey, look, I, look, I, I'm gonna say this. I, I'm, like I, I said, no, I, 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 shout I, to Kenna. I, I agree with you. I'm, I'm with you on this too, because we're gonna we're not gonna talk about Jamarcus no more. No, I'm I'm excited if I if I do get a chance to go out there. I like it when like people get like really hammered, and Hammer's gonna be fucking hammered, dude. Like, he got to live up to the name, dude. Thank you, fucking dude. That's exactly. If you if you have your name Hammer, you better fucking be able to fucking hang with the big boys. Hey, real quick, hey, still read this real quick, and, t- and then tell me what 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 uh, Jamarcus said to you yesterday on the phone. <sighs> he said that shit verbatim. No. Word for word. <laughs> yeah, like Jamarcus said that on the phone yesterday. Bro. Shout, shout to Cold Coffee. Yeah. You got to be a hacker or something, my brother, because real shit. Hey, Jamarcus, that- get rid of that fucking name and just put your real name on, man. Come on. <laughs> Come talk to us. Straight up. He said, make it Trump. They wanted to make a motherfucker. No, he didn't. <laughs> he said that ver- verbatim. Like, yeah, no, I mean, shit. Out uh, Davis, remember, remember at the press conference with the fucking VCR? He said, Jamarcus Russell's a great player. Get over it. Yeah. That, that, no, seriously, he goes, the only one that wanted me there was fucking Al D. He's like, no one else wanted me there. And I was like, yeah. hey, man. Jamarcus Russell's a great player. Yeah. Get over it. That shit is hilarious. Just imagine if we would have got Megatron, though, and then we didn't have another quarterback to throw him the ball. It'd be a whole other landing. Here's the Andrew thing, High Stakes Walter. We still, Walter got, we still, Walter got, we still got Josh McCown that year. Yeah, Andrew Josh High State Walter. Josh, you know, I mean, Josh yeah. McCown. Hey, Stu, how do you feel about draft picks? He's a fucking, you know, but we no, still. I, I get it. I get yeah, it. I mean. He's, he's a serviceable backup for sure. Uh, dude, I could fucking do like this. Huh? And just fucking go like that and throw it to Megatron, dude. It don't t- fucking. It, yeah. You don't need a, whole, a great quarterback. No, that's real. Fucker. What'd that's you say, Andy? No, I was asking Stu. How does he feel about draft picks? Like, the way that I feel like the whole NFL now is looking at it is just fucking currency. Like, we can get this motherfucker for this draft pick. Do you think that organizations that will win for a long period of time value draft picks more than teams like the Rams, that they're going to kind of be fucked in, like, two years? So the the, the difference is is – the teams that need to like it's almost like they're pulling out the, a hail mary like we need to get a guy like we need like the next fucking coming of football where the the teams that have a program listen we have a system we're cool we're gonna have these guys in we're gonna develop them but the other guys the coaches are under stress the fucking GM's under stress we need to win right fucking now who's the best player we could fucking get bring him in here we have in like. They don't set nothing up out, out around them, and it's a fucking it, it's it's a it's really a fucking lose lose for those guys. I mean, it's just there's they're just so they're under so much pressure. Where the like again, the teams that do win, 
they don't there's they don't they can develop guys and even the players are like we can feel it you know what i mean like hey we're cool man like you might you might fucking play up but it's not gonna be the end of the day but like other programs like these quarterbacks come in man and they're expected every throw like every throw there's like I, this could be the last throw i ever throw yeah. like, you, can't play, you can't play that fucking way yeah, it's, just, yeah. it's just too much pressure dude it's just it's just and again, but what if there's quarterbacks that think that even though they're ass, because this is what I think in Drew Locke, that motherfucker sucks, but he has the confidence of <laughs> he got the confidence of I'm fucking Tom Mayfield. Brady. <laughs> like, yo, like there's <laughs> motherfuckers that get it twisted. Yeah. Baker Mayfield. Here's the other thing though. When you come in with a lot of hype, you're kind of at your peak already. You know what I mean? Like, mm. you're, all, you're Yeah, you'll never get out. as high as you fell. Yeah. You're maxed out. Someone like Drew, no one knows who the fuck came out of it. Like, who the fuck is this? So you're always you're always going above your expectations. Who's second round pick out of Missouri, right? Yeah, Drew well, Locke, yeah. But yep. still, though, I mean, he, he was. That motherfucker like, cheeks. He sucks. Cheeks. He, that's what I'm saying, though. Like, when you come in with a big name and you have that big fucking name and – you're really here, – here's the thing is some of those guys can't live up to their name or the amount of money they're making. Baker Mayfield, case in point. There you go. Baker Mayfield will never, ever live up to the dream. Never. Ever. Never. First of all, he looks like a substitute gym teacher. Yeah, I – That's one. I, I and he like, runs around the field like he's just – like so, A1 I, terrific athlete, like he's fucking Russell but, Wilson or but, something. You go, know ahead, what's, still, go ahead, Go ahead. My bad, brother. Me? You like you had something to say? Yeah, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, no, no. I was agreeing with you. Oh I no, I'm just saying. I mean, look, like Baker to me, and I'm not disrespecting him as as an NFL athlete. The way he plays, he plays like he's as athletic as Deshaun Watson. You, you, like you can't, like bro, that's not your skill set. You better learn how to be, that. learn how to be accurate, learn how to move the pocket, step up in the pocket. Try to play. He should have fucking went and got Drew Brees' number as soon as he got off of the plane. As a he should try to play like Drew Brees. But you know what? You you know what he thought? I don't need no fucking help. Yeah, I'm yeah. fucking. I'm the fucking man, dude. I just I didn't like it when. And I know this sounds weird, but when I saw him like dancing in front, I'm like, what is this guy doing? Yeah. Like when he was doing that whole dance thing, I'm like, I just felt like, I'm like, you're trying too hard to like fit in. Like, yeah, I, I think so too. Right? I just, I didn't. It just, it just bothered me. And then you know, you know would have been a, a, a catastrophe if he would have got drafted by the Jets. Oh my god, that would have been a fucking catastrophe. They were calling Broadway this. Baker. About this, you're the best quarterback to come out of college, and you're going to the worst fucking teams in the NFL. Yeah. Like, dude, you're. Besides Peyton Manning, I mean, how many fucking top quarterbacks have actually turned the program around? It's a lot. Ooh. Shit, John Elway. I mean, it's a lot of guys who've done it. I mean, John Elway, how, so. how many years Patrick did John Mahomes. Elway take to fucking uh, win a pa- Super Bowl? Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, but he was in fucking like five of them before he won it. Like, you know what I'm saying? He turned shit around. Well, like. Herbert, Herbert was a top ten guy, right? Yeah. But what I'm saying is, is, is. Patrick Mahomes, yeah. I mean, okay, so that's good. <laughs> John, John, John Elway, too. It didn't take John Elway long. It didn't take Marino yes, long to turn yes, shit around. It yes, it did. It took Brett Favre a long time. It took fucking... No. Yes, it dude, did. Dude, it Brett Favre was drafted in what, 91? To Atlanta. 89. Yeah, right? Then, then when that's... he got to Green Bay, when he got to Green Bay, what, a 92, 93? Probably. They were, in a, they were in a Super Bowl in fucking, like, what, like 1995? No, 96? Somewhere around there. They played, they played like, Denver, I think, didn't they? Yeah, they beat Denver. Yeah. They beat Denver. Like, Brett Favre, like, it, it's not like it took but, eight or nine what years. What I'm saying is, is, is back then, though, the coaches weren't under so much pressure. The fans weren't fucking, like, it was, like, it was a fucking team where this guy's in our team. He's in our system. Like, we're going to develop. He, he's not, free agency, around that time, too, free agency wasn't that fucking big, right? So, like. Mm-hmm. Players could actually sit and develop in a fucking program. Coaches weren't getting flipped out. 
it, it was just you had you had a little bit more continuity, a lot yeah. of continuity, yeah. continuity and job security. Yeah, I mean, you got, we, 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 we look at Elway, right? Elway was drafted in '83 and was Joe in the Super Bowl by '86. Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow. Yes. Yo. Oh, it's Joe man. Burrow turned that shit around. Joe Shiesty, baby, came in real quick and turned shit around. Yeah. But now, I mean, I mean, it took him three years, though. No, it took him one. No. He was hurt his first no. year. Two. It, he, it really took him one. He was hurt his first year. He Yo, tore it, his ACL. And it, 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 see, Stu, it's like when you t- when we say turn it around, Wait, I don't mean know, go I, all I, the way. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Andy, you always say that he was hurt. That's part of being it, though. Like, that shit counts. Like, if you're yeah, hurt, but. Yeah, well, he didn't. He wasn't on the field, and that's what I'm trying to get at. When he was on the field, they went to the that's Super Bowl. That's a piece you know of what? it, though. You know what? You guys are right. Joe, uh, Herbert, um, Mahomes. That's three quarterbacks in what? Oh, I, I went back on you. I, I, of the entire I, NFL? Like, I went back to John Elway, though. I went back to John Elway. Like, Stu, John Elway was in the playoffs. John Elway got to a Super Bowl by his third year. I look, I, I, hold on, Herbert. Herbert hasn't even been in a playoff game. Yeah, yet. Judge, I, I'm not putting him in that in in, in there. Okay. Yeah. I'm not shit. putting him. In, how, how about Russell Wilson? Hell, how long did it He's take Russell Wilson round, to get? Guy. He's a third round pick though, out of Wisconsin. Oh yeah, true, true, true. So like, right. see, no, but that's what I'm like. Okay, that's perfect example. I'm talking about those like number one quarterback. Yeah. Dudes Yo. were coming in. Like Russell Wilson was behind fucking Hasselback. You know what I'm saying? Like he had hey, well, you know what? Technically, you can you can you can say Kyler Murray though, man. I mean, yeah. took, took, took him to the playoffs, bro. No, no. You know, you know the funny thing? Cool Cap says Elway didn't win till he was in his late 30s. Elway right. got right. his team to a Super Bowl a couple of years in a row as a young. What are you talking about? Hold he on. Got Hold them on. to a Hold Super on. Bowl. It's 1986. They played against the Giants. He was drafted in '83. Yeah. Come on, bro. Like, what are Josh we talking Allen, about? Josh Allen as well. Josh Allen. It took, it took him to get over. Marino, Marino <laughs> was in the Super Bowl the next what, year. Honestly, though, what has Josh Allen done? I mean, he's been to, the, to back to back championship. championships. That's turning the organization around. I mean, we're not saying they're going to win. I mean, he hasn't won Buffalo a championship, but, but I'll tell you right now. So when Buffalo went four times to the Super Bowl, did that mean anything? I think it lot. meant a lot. It meant a lot to the to the organization. Like they would have really armpit in that. Does anybody ever? Say anything about the Buffalo Bills besides that they couldn't win a fucking Super Bowl. No, Stu, hey, Stu listen, I what I'm Stu, I, I think I think we're conflating two issues. I what I'm talking about is John is Elway. To, no, I want to hold, hold on. No, not just John Elway. I'm just saying turning an organization around yeah. to a winning organization. I'm not saying like yo, you come in the league, you win a Super Bowl. That's not yeah. common. Culture I'm talking about Jordan. taking an organization that is a terrible organization. And turning it around to a winning organization. But again, you're coming from an era where you have more patience. Now they don't, Whoa. Those Whoa. Guys don't have I think it's patience. less, way less patience. Now, yeah. I think no, so. now, yeah. No, I'm saying we're coming from an era where you give a guy a little bit. Now these guys gotta come in and win right now. Yo, yo, uh, Stu, you a thousand percent right about that. You thought like, like I'm gonna give yeah. you an example. Waste of word of the day is conflating. The waste of word of this is not the wasted talent podcast, but we will continue that over here. Conflating, <laughs> say, but 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 on the real, like we we talk about like how Boomer Esiason was drafted to a team with Ken Anderson there. Yep, yeah. He got to sit behind Ken Anderson. I understand what you mean, Stu. It was that's different in the eighties. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Like those guys could come in. A Rod behind Favre. Yep, yep. yep. There you go. Everybody says Elway couldn't win a Super Bowl until he had um Terrell hey, Davis. Steve, no, Steve, fu- no Steve, shit. Hey, Steve Young never won shit until he got sat behind Joe Montana. Perfect. Yeah, Steve Young. Perfect. Steve Young was 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 in the USFL. And then he then then Buc- he Pierce. came over and went to the team that was supposed to draft him, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yeah. Then he was traded for and he as a backup. Well, no, no, but here's the thing though that that's that's again you said CFL. USFL. USFL traded and then he got behind Joe Montana, learned from him, and guess what he became? Hey, hey, Kurt Warner. Yeah. Pop Warner days to call him. Wasn't he in the arena league, like for the barn no, store? That, that man was working at a grocery store, bro. Yeah, I, I, Iowa, yeah. Iowa uh Iowa Barnstormers yeah. in the arena yeah. league. They they said they said that Kurt Warner, to be honest with you, like that, that that's an anomaly. But but Steve Young, there were years that 
Steve Young knew he was the best quarterback on that team. Yeah, like listen, let's, let's not get it fucked up. Like Steve Young, I think Steve not Young. When Joe Montana was there, though. Yeah, there was years with Steve Young. Steve Young and Joe Montana didn't even talk to each other. Yeah, because they knew they knew what they had in Steve Young. That's why they were willing to just get rid of Joe. Uh, uh, still, when Joe yeah, went to Kansas City, man. right? Joe was still a good quarterback. He was still a good quarterback with the Chiefs. But Steve Young on the Niners, and and and, and Joe Montana on the Chiefs, you take Steve Young ten times out of ten. I know. All, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not comparing Steve Young to Joe Montana. But what I'm saying is, these quarterbacks could come in and develop. Yeah. Yeah. No. That's it. That's yeah, it. Phil Sims. They didn't. They didn't just. They didn't like when they drafted the Phil Sims to the Giants. Phil Sims didn't play well at all for the first like three years. He didn't play well. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll tell you this: we're the only team in the NFL that gave our quarterback eight years. So, um, and he's now on his ninth, and he hasn't done shit. So let's just hope that this year is the year. That uh, he proves us he proves us yeah. wrong, right? However you feel about DC, well, yeah. But see, but see, yeah, no, but cool, Derek, Kev, Derek cool. Carr cool. Behind, Derek Carr played behind Rich Gannon, didn't he? Or no? No, no. 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 Derek Carr was a little <laughs> kid, he was like in the third grade. But but, but 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 on the real, like cool, Kev. He's talking like he said Elway won his last Super Bowl at thirty eight. We're talking about John Elway in the beginning of his career coming and getting drafted in nineteen eighty three. And having a bad football team two years later in a Super Bowl, and then losing a couple Super Bowls back to back, and dragging teams that had no business playing against them NFC teams. Those teams were so dominant; there was no way he was going to fucking beat the 49ers or the Giants so or the Redskins. Wait, so I, I'm giving shit about John John Elway, but again, you include John Elway. You include and, 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 and you'll fuck him by the way, because I hate John Elway. Okay, good. I don't know. Fuck everybody we're talking about. Okay, perfect. Because I don't I don't like anyone, but um, yeah. but what I'm saying is that's what Pops. six literally six guys in a 40 year period that have like you know been able to do it. It's 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 not easy, it's not fucking oh, no, 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 not at all, not at all. Hell all no. the stars have to align for you in a certain way, there like and that, that was my main point was like nowadays, so but like these kids come in, it's like you're basically you, you have no chance of being successful. There's just no fucking way, man. You're, you, you, there's too much hype. You get paid too much money. The fans have way too high expectations. You can't even meet it. You can't meet those expectations. And it depends on where you go. Like with Peyton Manning, right? 1,000%. So Peyton Manning comes to Indianapolis. You already have Marshall Falk on the roster. You already have Marvin Harrison on the roster. Right, and a good offensive line. Ken Dilger's on the Ken roster. Dilger. Yep. The, the offensive line is there, right? You you already have a, a competent coach in Jim Moore. And a coach who's going to fucking, like. Even though he was, Jim Moore was a dick, he was a good coach. He I wasn't only, a terrible coach. I only mentioned D.C. chat. I only mentioned D.C. Yeah. because, because uh, Stu was saying that there's, that people give up on people too fast, right, these days. It's like win now or, or you're done. Yeah. And we, we've done the total opposite. We've gave our quarterback eight years. So that's the reason why I brought up Derek Carr because I went. Hey, Josh there. Rosen had one season in Arizona. <laughs> so. Dunzo, Paul Murray, come on, Dunzo, Dunzo. That's they another like, bust. Josh, who? It's a Josh. You get your that's punk the ass third. Out of that's here. the third bust right there. Ryan Leaf, Jamarcus Russ, Jamarcus Russell, and Josh Rosen. No, no get the hey, fuck out of here. Josh back. Rosen wasn't even drafted that high, bro. He's a first round pick. Yeah, yeah but like, I'm wait, like, wait, what, wait, number twelve out of UCLA or something. Yeah, bro, yeah. You, we talking about the yeah. top top gone. guys. The next year, gone. Yeah, yeah, that 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 doesn't make, it doesn't make that kid a bust. That was just a bad situation. No, it's not a not. No, he he. No, yeah, it does. He, no, oh, no, it does. He got an oh, opportunity oh, oh, in Miami. Here we, 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 we go oh, with oh, the Rosen oh, was not good enough coming out of UCLA to be a bust anyway. Yeah, like yo, they they overdrafted that kid. And not for nothing, he was 12th, not fucking first or third or anything like that. So, like, that's what we're talking about. And here's the thing, too, guys. Remember this. But I, I like that, Hammer. A, a lot of violence. Violence. <laughs> Talk that I, shit. He went to Miami. They gave him a backup role. He Talk lost the this, backup role. Remember this. Remember this. You guys are putting a lot of the, like, a lot of the fucking emphasis on the player. The team should not have taken that guy at that pit. That's their fault. Yes. Like Johnny Foosball. What about Johnny oh, that's Foosball? Like, no, no, no. That's like the Giants taking fucking Daniel Jones in there the first go. round. A six there overall. Had a Duke 
Who the there fuck dropped the quarterback out of Duke in the first round? The, the Giants. The Giants have. How about, how about Kerbrush? Fucking dude was a fucking tight end for two years at Carolina, and he's a fucking also he's a what top ten fucking quarterback pick. Wait, so what it? about Lance? Where where did Lance get? Lance was top ten, right? Trey Lance, yeah. Yeah, the Niners gave him like two. He was like the third pick, balls. right? Crazy shit. Yeah, out of not- out of what <laughs> South Dakota? Yeah. <laughs> I don't see that motherfucker starting for at least another play. year or two. He's going to start this year. They have to start him. If 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 he doesn't start this year, somebody's getting fired. Like hey. you know what I mean? Bye, John. I don't know, bro. Bye, <laughs> Jimmy G. Well, this is the thing. They either keep Jimmy G or give Debo that extension. Yeah, and Matt Liner. That's another good one. Matt Liner. Oh yes. He was with well, the he, Raiders too. But USC though. Let's Mark Sanchez? No, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, this is Sanchez. Like you just said, dude. Oh. Reggie Bush was the was the was the was the star over there. Those man. guys, some of those guys are playing on teams that are just like the uh, the talent around them make them look pretty fucking good too. You know what I mean? Like, oh, ten, for sure. All right, so can we say the same thing about Georgia with all these guys that they have that are coming into the draft this year? Well, they had a bunch of other, they had a bunch of good like guys that. around them that made them better. Absolutely. We're talking about quarterbacks. What's my quarterback? I'm just though? saying in general. I was I was talking about team two. I was with Hammer. Man, no, hey, no, Hammer. I what you saying? Yeah, because like, remember, remember, we, I was really high on who was I high on? I think uh, Kobe Dean. Dean. And you guys, like, Dean. Oh, you guys were like, man, Graf. I'm telling you, bro. Like with Jordan Kobe. Davis in front of him and all these other guys. Well, well got- no, hold on. Wasted said that. Everybody okay. else loved the Kobe Dean. I said that. I, I don't said don't say I love that motherfucker. No, no, I me not. and Andy. I just, bro, I just gave you flowers. Relax, man. <laughs> I, said, I said me and Andy. Me and Andy, the only one. Everybody else up and down the airwaves loving the Kobe Dean. Yeah. yeah Andy I and I were that. like, listen, I haven't seen this guy take on the block ever. He's just running around back there like playing flag football. Think about yeah, it. Christian They're Hunt. talking about Trayvon Walker being a top five pick. They had Trayvon Walker, Devontae Wyatt, Jordan Davis all taking on blocks before Quay Walker. I Quay mean, not gonna yeah, be no I mean, I mean uh, um, what's his name? N'Kobe Dean. <laughs> that motherfucker. I think N'Kobe goes in the second round now. I do too. I think he's going to fall. I think I, I don't think a lot of these linebackers that everybody have going in the first round, I don't think they're going to go in the first round. I think only Muma's Devin going Lloyd. In the first round. Devin Lloyd is going in the first round. Muma might. Um, I th- I think only like three linebackers are gonna go in the first round. Seriously, I don't. Think I, they are. Muma, um, Devin Lloyd. Lloyd, and um, shit, man. You know who I think is gonna go first round is Jahan Dotson. I think he's gonna go to KC. I can see oh, that. You think yeah. So? Yeah. What, what, yeah. What, 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 nah, I, I think J Mo might go in the first round to KC. Oh no, man. for sure. No, they, They'll they probably go to like Cleveland. They want speed though. Yeah, J Mo, it's not going to be Jahan Dawson. He's I, not I, fast I heard, enough. I heard Kansas City has his, uh, they're going to draft that linebacker Derek Thomas out of uh, Texas AM or whatever. <laughs> oh, man. My God, oh, man. What an animal. Was, see, see but that's the thing, though, that, that we may be forgetting a little bit when we go out there, right? We're like, oh, like, man, first day, we don't got no picks. We're going to see what the Broncos, the Chiefs, and the Chargers do. So yeah. we got that to look at, too. Yeah. Like, you know, we we gotta look at those things too, cause like Jahan, me part, I like Jahan Dawson. I think he'll go in the first round just cause the dude had a great pro day and a great combine. They so wasted. Think, you know, you know, you know, John Elway will be there, buddy. John Elway will be in the building, dude. Yeah, yeah fuck the horse tooth jackass. I fuck him. Fuck him. Hey man, I, Yo, I have no interest, bro. Listen, let me tell you something. I have no interest. I'm not a jock sniffer like that. I I I. Have no interest in meeting John Elway. Fuck that guy. I just got to give him his respect for coming in and turning the organization around fast to prove my point. But fuck that guy. I've met so many players in my life. I don't fuck him. Hey, Kalani, I think Muma will be a second rounder, but I would not be shocked if he got drafted in the high in the high uh, 20s in the first round. I would not be shocked. Look, last year, who was it? Jamin Davis out of Kentucky? They were saying that he was a second rounder. Yeah, that Muma. motherfucker went 14th to, to Washington. 15th or some shit, yeah. To Washington. <laughs> That's the other thing. Some some positions they start going and yeah, yeah. yeah. When there when there's a run on positions yeah. every year, tackles. Yeah. You're gonna I see really feel start. like there's gonna be a run on linebackers, dude. I really feel like it's gonna fucking start running, dude. I, I, I hope not. I hope not because last year 
we got lucky that – well, it was uh, your boy, right, Holland. He was the first safety off the board. Mm -hmm. And then Holland went off the board, and the writer was like, fuck that. We got to trade up before this run on safeties go. Yeah. We drafted Merrick. Bunch of safeties went right off back the to board. back to back, yeah. So, so it was like – we, there's always going to be a run on positions. Always, the the main run is always offensive I'm tackle. Dude, I, I'm hoping there's a run on uh, thir forty year old former fucking players, man. And fucking, I'm hoping there's a run on those motherfuckers, dude. <laughs> guys, what, what do you guys think about Brandon Smith being drafted in the first round of Penn State? Uh, that won't happen. All the measurables. Why? I think at the I think that at the high, the highest to be drafted. Was he the one raping see. people in the shower and shit? Second round. <laughs> no, that's you. That was you, that was you, fam. It was you and Jerry Rice. No, yeah, I do be serious. No, he, no, that was Mika Parsons. That was Michael Parsons. Parsons last year. That was Mika Parsons oh, was last year. Okay, all right, yeah. yeah. Brandon, I, I see. I think I think he goes in the second, but the yeah. high, the lowest he'll drop is the third. Look, the the, the two guys that everybody's high, highly talented is driving the Kobe Dean and Devin Lloyd, right? Yeah. Christian Harris is another guy. That some people like have. That's 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 bro. Leo Chanel and Nick um Nick Benito. Chanel will be a second rounder. I, I think Leo Chanel might even go lower than that. I, yeah, I think I think there's a chance that you could swap Chad Muma for Nicobe Dean because there's only going to be two first round linebackers. There's only two teams that are going to take a linebacker that high. Muma's a guy from Boise, right? Or, uh, Wyoming. 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 Yeah. Wyoming. I think, I think I think Chad Muma could probably replace Nicobe Dean. I don't think people are as high on Nicobe Dean as, as as people are saying. I think I think even though Seattle went linebacker two years ago to replace KJ Wright, I think Seattle will go linebacker at fifty nine. I can and see it'll that. it'll be it'll because they lost Bobby Wagner. They said Bobby Wagner, your time's done. So fifty nine. That's that's the second round. Yeah. So I think that yeah. that's where you'll start to see like these linebackers. Gone. Yes, hey, is, that, is that number? Is that safety for Seattle? The truth. I think number thirty is it thirty three. Oh, Adams. Adams? Oh, the, the president. Jamal Adams. Yeah, yeah. Jamal Adams is, is is an old school box Very safety. He's, that, he, he's the truth. He's the truth, but he's overpaid, man. I mean, I think Jamal Adams would be a hall of fame that we played though, in the nineties. Yes, hundred tackles, tackles, sacks, sacks all kinds and of. And he's shit. a big fucker, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. 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 But 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 you want to talk about him in coverage? That motherfucker. asparagus. He lays, wood. he lays the wood. When he was with the Jets, he wasn't as bad in coverage, man. But now I think he. Where do you go to college? LSU. LSU. LSU yeah. Yeah, but you know the thing. The thing. The thing with him, man, is that you could. You can clearly see either he's been hitting the weights hard or he's been hitting something else. Hard. Yeah. Because he, 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 he looks juiced out of his mind. He reminds me of Rodney Harrison. He's like a modern day Rodney Harrison. He's a decent yeah. hitter, though, bro. And, and and Stu, the reason why you see every single player in the NFL wearing armbands on their on their fucking arms is because of Jamal Adams. He started that shit. Wait, so how can I get a jarline like yours? <laughs> hey, I hope Winfrey drops. Great Southern. I, man, I hope that Winfrey drops to oh, the earth. Man. Yeah. Fucking Winfrey. We haven't talked about Winfrey in so long. <laughs> you know what's crazy, bro? Lil, though. We, like, Lil's dropping. Winfrey. Yo, I was saying that, bro. If Liao for some reason fucking makes it to 86, bro, you don't you. even think. No. You don't even think. And I think Scout today said about Fedarian Mathis, right? Yes. Yeah. I was I about to say Fedarian. I would I would I fucks with Fedarian Mathis, yo, at 86, bro. You you think um man, you think he'll be there? No. 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 You think there's a run on defensive tackles before there's a run on safety? Yes. yes. Easy yeah, me too. Yeah. Me too. The positional, it, yeah. the position, the positional yeah. need is so much greater. The, yeah. the best safety are, are, are on the board is going to be gone in the first ten picks. And then, Notre Dame guy. Notre Dame guy. Yeah. 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 Adam, he, he's 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 different. You Isn't it crazy? Saying? Like two? What was it? Two, three? A month ago, basically, we're talking about Kyle Hamilton, Hamilton. Like at three. Yeah. This motherfucker, bro. Bro, he. The, 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 what was today? I, me and Scout brought something up. Oh, it was, it was our mock draft that he did. And and he was off the board at two. Uh, it, listen, Hamilton, it's gonna Hamilton. be weird because I, I got a feeling Malik Willis is gonna kind of throw a monkey rich in the top half of the draft. That's what Malik, I was gonna say. Malik, Malik Willis, Willis is, is gonna get drafted by Detroit. I'm Look, telling you right now, it's gonna happen. Let me, let me ask you guys this. That? Who's the player that's gonna I fuck believe, up I, the I, draft? I believe, board? Hammer. I believe Hammer. Yeah, I, I think it's gonna be Malik Willis, and I think another quarterback that's gonna sneak into the first round, and I don't know why he's gonna Desmond Ritter. 
yeah. is the guy. And I think the Seattle Seahawks Cincinnati. might go quarterback. Cincinnati, right? Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, East Tom Lacey says something about a quarterback. We both think the same dude, one. I, I yeah. like Ritter, dude. I like Ritter a lot. I do, he's very mature. The only thing about Desmond Ritter is that he's, he's, he's an older guy. He's a competitor. He can move. Hey, hey, he's, 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 the, he's one of the he's one of the fastest quarterbacks in the draft. Hey, he's one of the base of played five years. Played five years. Yeah. You know? One of the one of the things about Desmond Ritter, he reminds me a lot of Derek Carr. He oh, really, really does. He, he reminds me a lot. I'm just talking about like how he's oh. a, a, like like the kind of deceptively good athlete. He does everything well. He doesn't do everything exceptional. Like he has a really really good arm. He yeah, doesn't he have does. a Josh Allen arm. You know what I mean? He can move. I, like you wouldn't expect him to move the way he does, and he, he's so, mature. So Ritter, I don't think Raiders that guy. I think Sam Howell may, out of North Carolina may be a sneaky, Ooh. a sneaky <sighs> guy that you throw they, like a wrench, a monkey wrench in the game. In the you know what, Wasted though? You know who I think the team that would do that shit in the first round is is Philly. Damn. But you don't think they're going to? No, get, no, no, no. They, they I don't think so. Because just it was just last week. They were saying that there was multiple people in the Philadelphia organization that have him as a first round grade. That, that, yeah, but that, Howie Roseman, smoke. that's not how he moves. I'm sorry, go ahead, Greg. Hey, no, 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 my bad. Wait, no, no, you're right though. But but that's smoke because that trade that they made with New Orleans that lets you know that if it doesn't work this year with their QB, they're going to QB next yeah, year. Yeah, next year. Yeah. Yep. They're loading up because that's yeah, the yeah. draft. Howie Roseman sets his ducks yes. up real well, right? So yeah, yeah. Howie Roseman wants to see what he has with Jalen Hurts. Yes. I think Jalen Hurts has earned that. I like Jalen. I, I like him too. He's played. He's played pretty darn well. I mean, he he's played on the. I, and I know you guys are gonna think I'm nuts, but the last few years his numbers are comparable to Lamar Jackson's, right? So and now that has a lot to do with Lamar getting hurt. But Jalen Hurts has played really, really well, man. And I, they got to give him another shot. With mobile quarterbacks in the NFL, man, it just they get beat up, man. They just fuck it. It's just yeah, man. The guys are three. Just, fuck. Man, I swear, I, I wish, I tough, wish, tough. I wish that Terrell Pryor was around today. Hold on, was, what about this shit? I, I see man. an update about this offensive lineman from Ohio State, Thayer yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, he came in for a top thirty he visit. Trash, he's trash. Yeah, he ain't yeah shit. De Desmond Ritter, I, I think real is Raider. I think you need to watch a little more film on Desmond Ritter. Desmond Ritter does a lot of things. The only problem with Desmond Ritter is he's an interception thrower. And you don't normally fix that at the next level. He's not as bad as Jameis Winston was throwing picks in college, but he throws a lot of picks, man. And yeah. but everything else, Desmond Ritter can play at this level. At, 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 Instagram, bro, are they real? No. Okay, I didn't think they were. I just. I mean, bro, you wait, see wait. some of these bras, They have all wait. kinds of shit going on. I just followed you about on the new on your new page too, bro. Wait, so hey, so, Stu, so could what? you could you send me so I don't get the hack, Stu, trying to sell me Bitcoin and shit. <laughs> <laughs> No, that, I was that, like, was, that was actually me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like still get the fuck out of here. I got my crypto wallet. I'm hey, cool. Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> so, so do you think the person, like, I think you said Malik Willis wasted. Do you think the person that might mess up the draft board this year was that is that Willis like going higher than people? Yeah, think? I think Malik Willis can go to Detroit because a lot of people have um, Iquanu going to him, Charles Cross, all these guys. Mm -hmm. I, I think a quarterback is going to move. We see it all the time. The second the quarterback goes. These teams like what the fuck? Like now I gotta go get mine. I gotta go move up. Yep, and it's gonna be a run on quarterback. That's why a lot of the guys, whenever when we're doing these draft, they're, oh they're not gonna be in the third. I'm like, bro, there's only 32 teams in the National yeah. Football League, yeah. and 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 because what of what we did, they're even less picking in the first round. Yep. So that is the reason why I'm like, yo, some of these people, man. So we, do you think that with us only having five picks, do you think that we'll end up drafting a quarterback? No. No. Yeah, I'd, no, say, I'd say the same thing. No, no, it do, it doesn't make any sense, and we don't have enough roster space for that. No. We need to fill this this roster. You got five million dollars in cap room. You got some come back June first, and you only got twenty one people on the roster. Yeah. So, like, what the fuck? And you got five draft picks. You got to fill this roster out. You got guys yeah, that are on the got practice. Twenty people. Well, you, we got more than that, but it was, it was a time when the last time I looked, we only had 21 people under contract. We have some people that we know. For, are for 2023? Back. No, right now. We have 63 on the roster. Now we got 63. I was talking about a couple of weeks ago. 
Oh, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. So, it was so you had to, you got to fill a roster out, right? So a couple of weeks ago, the coverage were bare. Now you got some of these guys that are on the roster that that we know aren't going to make the fucking team. Oh yeah, for sure. if, if you want some uh, space fillers, they should have signed us. You know what I mean? Like, fuck, that'd be cool as shit, wouldn't it? Bro, I, I, I be, I wouldn't be in no good, bro. I'd be a waste of fucking space, bro. They We're, still, man. Hey, they're gonna cut us anyways. <laughs> I, no, listen, I, you know what I want? I want to just have a cup of coffee, a cheese Danish, and meet a couple, go to a couple meetings, get the shit knocked out of me. Yeah, be awesome. Yeah, and, 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 and be able to get everybody. No, listen. Put, the only thing everybody in podcast. The only thing we can do is look at a card and just literally like what what the fucking whatever is drawn up on the card. We just do that. That's all I have to do. And then, hey, you're cut. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yo, yo, Raider Ruckus said you owe him his his crypto money back. Ah, that motherfucker. Yeah, but but but, bro, you know what's crazy? When I saw Malik Willis at that pro day, flick that ball down the field. Oh my god, bro! I was like, okay, somebody's taking him right on top of the draft. Hey, hey, do you see how Mike Tomlin looked like? Yes. My my top was like, who? Who was it? Who was it? My top was Willie Willis. We saw Willie oh, okay. Willis flick. I said, he's like, who? I thought he said Patrick Willis. I'm like, Patrick Willis could throw the football too? Like, God damn, he could do that. <laughs> like, he could do every fucking thing. God, Jesus Christ. Yeah, what a beast that guy was, man. Mean, nice so long long Bro, yo, that's the thing. Another thing about the, the guy who shall not be named. <laughs> the 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 Lord Voldemort of this conversation. The, the ADR throws on the knee to, on the knee. Yeah, because yo, look at the people in that draft: Megatron, Adrian Peterson. You can't. Patrick Willis, Darrell Revis, Marshawn Lynch. It's just like what the fuck, man. Yeah. It's like damn it, man. Yeah, but here here's the thing. Hey, we had Marshawn Lynch at one point. Blame. At the end of his rope. Put, put put that energy towards the, the, the person who was really at fault. Yeah, the organization. There you go. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Because listen, he got drafted for, for balling out in the sugar bowl. Let's just be for real. Yeah, he balled out in the yeah, sugar bowl. Notre Dame. Yeah. yeah, he 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 effed on Notre Dame. They had to say that, huh? So, hey, so what do you think about this? Oh. Listen, I'm a Notre Dame fan too. I remember it vividly. Yeah, bro. You know what? Brady Quinn, bro. The That's mighty bum ass Quinn. And that's a guy I like, who I like he's Brady. always talking shit about the Raiders. Fuck yeah. Brady Quinn. Fuck he, that he guy. Does. He does. He does. I got some good ass shit that you're gonna like. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna. I haven't fucking put it out there yet, but I got some good Brady Quinn exclusive shit, dude. Trust me. The mighty. He said you're. Quinn. He said you're a dirty motherfucker, Stu. Yeah. Did, did I didn't. Did I put that out yet or no? I thought you did, right? I think I just played it for you. I didn't put okay, it Okay, the video of him yeah. saying that shit? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll shut the fuck up there. So we, yeah, so we, Jesus Christ, don't fucking blow my fucking cover here, dude. Just, uh, just, or uh, stake my, steal my thunder. They or... said that Dogecoin tip was booty hole, bro. <laughs> oh? The Dogecoin tw- tip, the, the Bitcoin. <laughs> they talk about all that fucking crypto. <laughs> He's stupid, yo. Hey, yo. shit, y'all, I didn't even fucking know. We're on two and a half hours. Yeah, I, know, yeah, I, I actually, I, I need to go... Um, Get your life together, man. I, I got no, 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 no. I have, I, I, I gotta go somewhere. So, oh uh, man, you gotta be fucking safe, motherfucker. Yeah, come on. I, I can hear the Eminem music playing right now. No, 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 no. You only get one shot opportunity. That's like, fucking. Uh, that's um. Lose yourself. Be on my belt. That's um. YG. Fuck that. Oh yeah. Who do you love? Who do you love? Stu, catch a lift to the liquor store, man. I know that bottle empty, man. Catch a lift. I'm, I do. Trust me, guys. I'm I'm just fucking with you, dude. You have nothing to worry about. Yo, fucking YG. Nah. Fucking Drake biting fucking rapid forte shit. Oh, my God, bro. That shit was so I bad, yo. I was like, yo, I remember when I first, I was like, yo, that's that's rapid forte. I, I'm old enough to remember that shit. You know that's what I mean? Do- that, that's Dox's boy, man. Hey, man. It's not, oh, Drake? Yeah. No, he, he, rapid forte. No, no, no. Rapid Forte for sure. That's San Francisco, man. Come on, man. He's, he's from the Bay. But you're not from San Francisco. You're from Sacramento. Northern California. Come on, Stu. Get, get, come on, man. Stu's from fucking you're Kansas not, City or some shit, bro. You're from, from Napa Valley. From you're from Napa Valley. Hey, my mom oh. is. All right. I'm back. What up? Thanks. My mom, my mom is from Napa Valley. What up? Well, hey, respect for that, dude. And Napa Valley is dope, dude. Fuck you, Stu. Hey. <laughs> Hey, Hammer. Yep. 
<laughs> Here we go. Stu about to throw up on no, camera. No, no. Yo, shit. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before, before Stu says anything, yo, no, Vincent, Vincent, I want to see your mom get raw dogged by five crackheads. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Wow, that was uncalled for, man. No, it wasn't. Yo, where'd that come from? <laughs> oh, okay, I see it. What'd he say? He said, I want to see it. Damn, Hammer, that, that was it? Hammer showed his hairline before. Like, my shit is fucked up. Hammer hey, shit is cool. You know what? Don't, don't fuck with Hammer's hairline. Don't fuck, hey, you, hey, hey, don't fuck with Hammer's hairline, man. Simple and plain. She Dude, get Russ, he'll get five crackheads to rock that bro. Trust me. There's certain things, man. Let me see the hairline, dude. Yo, so he, so he cool on the raw dogging? You cool on the raw dogging, bro? Hey, hey, Vincent can take some jokes, man. It's, it's, it's Got good. to Vincent. Oh, shit, bro. He said she, she is she a crackhead, crack though. Head, though. <laughs> Hey, your motherfuckers is crazy. Bro. Oh my god! Oh, shit. Hey, we had two and a half hours, man. Stu, you going live or what? You no, got this, going on, bro? So, so, guys, what that means is Docs wants us to fucking get out of his shit. So I gotta go we'll, fill we'll, in some we'll out some kids. And um, no, no, I, I, I'm not gonna go live. I'm not gonna go live. No, I'm gonna go fill on some titties right now. I don't know what y'all going. Oh do. my god! Hey, that's it's a beautiful feeling to be able to have two of them things in your palm. Yeah, man, you just go to sleep with titties in your hand. You know? <laughs> just titties in your hand. Titty, titty. <laughs> Thanks, my brothers, man. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Two and a half hours. I don't want to <laughs> any late. Uh, I had fucking three lives today. I, like I was just, I was on. Oh, hey, are you delirious? Yet? No one no. asked. No one asked. Yeah. Not one of us asked how many fucking lives you did. Not one of us. Still, bro. Appreciate that. Thank you. Fucking hey, bragging, still, ass, bragging ass fucking. All right, motherfucker. All right. Say less. Raider Ruckus is going to have a Blumpkin. That's awesome. <laughs> That's <laughs> fire. That's disgusting, bro. Hey, anybody, hey, yo, listen. Anybody who's had a Blumpkin before, just don't ever talk to me, please. It's what gross. is a Blumpkin? Hey, Getting a blowjob while you're taking a shit on the toilet. You got to oh, kick me out the that, group. Yeah, then, that's blumpkin I'm not, pie. I'm not. I'm not. Hey, I'm not. You got to kick me out the group, then, man. I was disgusting at one point in my life, man. Yeah, I, I never had a blowjob. I, mean, that, 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 I never had a blowjob. I, I, <laughs> I don't make the peeping and pooping shit, man. I, I just, yeah, I, bro. Yeah, like yeah, you got some people who got to sniff assholes and all uh, this yeah, stuff. Yeah, y'all motherfuckers is crazy. Well, that that's a different thing, though. That's oh damn. I'm on the wrong. Let me stop talking. Yeah, we're not talking about y'all motherfuckers is crazy, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to the nation. Appreciate you guys. My brothers love hey, you. No, I, I will say this, dude. I, I honestly, I um, I didn't want to say anything until fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, knew I knew it was coming. Shout out to Stu, Stu, man. Hey, he said you guys on that weird shit. Hey, man, ain't nothing wrong with a blumpkin here and there, man. You know what I mean? Shit should be, hey, you know, sometimes, you know. Listen, hey, man, you got to have a blumpkin from time to time. Ben said, Blumpkin sounds like a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag booty hole versus, versus the hashtag Blumpkins. Hey, the Blumpkins. Blumpkins. Hey, hey, we should do that. Hey, hey, we got to name the teams. The Blumpkins and then with the other. I don't know. Bro, who, you're going to lose. And booty hole. Booty Bro, holes. you're going to lose hole game every sponsorship dollar you've ever had if you named the team the Blumpkins. I think we lost every sponsorship uh, dollar today. No. Yo, Stu is on some wild shit, dog. That motherfucker. Oh my god. Yo, Ben, Ben, me and Wasted are gonna link up soon enough, man. He asked earlier, like, we live close enough. Why haven't we linked yet? We're gonna Listen, link. How do you how do you know that we haven't linked yet? We're gonna link. Do you I'll, know I'll, that me and we haven't I'll had a sandwich together? Too stupid. So we cut the sandwich in half, man. Wait, wait, wait. What was it that Graf said he did? Graf said he didn't have a, a Philly cheesesteak in this motherfucker. We gotta take, we're taking him to Philly. We're yeah. taking him to Philly. Oh, I ain't man. Yo, man, the shut the fuck ears. up, Andy. The Blumpkin you, 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 you with all your Northern California cuisines and shit. Hey, man. man. It's a Philly cheesesteak, dog. Just call that shit a sandwich. I never had one, bro. Mad Me neither. I'm, I'm just saying, Docs, you've been over here a lot, bro. You, you've had to have one, bro. You gotta have one. The, re the rectal record of the Blumpkins. <laughs> Yo, the filthy yeah. versus the filthy Sanchez. <laughs> <laughs> the that motherfucker like, is crazy, bro. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, we out of here. I'm delirious, man. I'm gonna go let my eyes My brother's bad. We out. Please. What?